A cold wind blew, and a touch of residual shadow appeared like a ghost behind Fallon. David grabbed the blue rain sword and hacked toward his opponent. Flying immortal flash technique. His speed was so fast that it appeared in the time it took for a spark to fly off of a piece of flint. However, just as David was about to finish his first counterattack, the air trembled slightly, and the blue rain sword sliced the air open. Fallon, who was previously there, had disappeared on the spot in the blink of an eye. How could that be? A cold aura came from a distance, causing David to frown. He looked at Fallon, who had appeared a few hundred meters away, with a serious expression. Was this the same technique as the flying immortal flash technique? David was surprised. Fallon said indifferently, It seems like the so-called one-sword flying immortal arts is nothing. David chuckled slightly. The last person who said that was Sage, and then I broke the tendons in his arms and legs. Not bad. I hope you can keep laughing. After she finished speaking, Fallon moved while dragging her sword. A bolt of lightning flashed through the sky like a dragon in the ocean, bringing along the might of thunder as it furiously attacked. David did not want to be outdone, and a demonic purple light pulsed within his deep eyes. In an instant, David transformed into a white humanoid sword energy and rushed out, directly smashing into the lightning. A huge explosion shook the sky. The humanoid sword energy cut horizontally and instantly cut the lightning bolt in half. However, Fallon did not give David any chance to use it further. Her figure flashed and completed a series of leaps and bounds. Every time she flashed, it left behind a blurry residual shadow in the air. The sword energy flew out, revealing its sharpness. In the blink of an eye, with David at the center, dozens of illusionary residual shadows appeared in the front, back, left, and right. Immediately afterward, Fallon attacked from in front of David. With a transcendent aura, like a flying immortal, the holy sword that was covered with lightning struck at the center of David's forehead, unleashing a fatal blow's might. Not daring to be careless in the slightest, David opened his left hand with a wave of his five fingers. He rapidly retrieved the strength of seven stars. Sky selection and sky treasure killing technique. The spiraling energy ball shot out and struck the side of the holy sword. The moment the two violent energies clashed, fire and water burst out in all directions. The holy sword and Fallon's palm immediately deviated from its attack trajectory, although the tip of the ice-cold sword almost touched David's nose. He felt a faint pain like from a needle prick. Fellow Dendron Chain, David shouted. Seven bright chains flew out from behind him. Each chain was gorgeous, as though it was divine iron filled with star essence. And they circled around rapidly, forming a strange barrier, blocking Fallon's way out. It's my turn, woman from Thunder Saint Palace, David shouted. The outline of his handsome face revealed a bit of fierceness as his left palm once again erupted with a majestic and surging force. A picture of the Big Dipper appeared on his palm. The air vibrated rhythmically as David struck out with his palm, setting off rolling tides and waves as he attacked his opponent. Feeling the astonishing energy fluctuations that came from the center of David's palm, Fallon's eyes couldn't help but flash with a hint of astonishment. The aura of David's attack was enough to threaten her, but the star chain was like a fence blocking the way. David raised his power and retaliated with his attack. Star Soul, four critical strikes. Just at this moment, the same situation as before happened. Fallon once again disappeared, as if she had teleported. Idiot. A few hundred meters away, Fallon looked at David like a cat toying with a mouse. But right after that, the condensed power in the palm of David's left hand calmed down. At the same time, he smiled. Using the same move twice in front of me? Isn't Miss Fallon looking down on me too much? Fallon could not help but be shocked in her heart. In an instant, 
An ice-cold current attacked her from all directions like dark waves from the deep sea. A devilish purple light surged around David, and his pair of deep eyes were filled with a charming aura. The place you returned to was the location of the first residual shadow, so I was waiting for that. He was waiting for the present moment. As his voice fell, a group of purple flames soared into the sky from all directions of Fallon. The air was scorched until it became distorted and unstable. The power of the demon flames was like a curtain of huge waves, directly enveloping Fallon within it. Then, the blue rain sword released a loud and clear cry. David's sword force filled the sky. He unleashed it with a wave of his sword, and the killing intent spread throughout the sky. The blue rain sword transformed into thousands of sword images that shot out, forming a disorderly sword river. It merged with the gigantic fire curtain of the purple demonic flame. The dense sword shadows of the horrifying sword river were like divine beams that came across the flood and all struck one point. Intense turmoil erupted as the blue sword rain and the purple demonic flame clashed within the river, forming a violent storm of energy. Powerful air waves burst out from within it. The sword circle that had triggered the strength of thunder and lightning in the surrounding area was directly blown apart because it could not endure the force any longer. Following that, tens of thousands of thundershine bloomed like flowers. Among the chaotic waves of light patterns, Fallon flew out. A layer of luxurious holy armor with flashing lightning around her body formed, and her eyes were as cold as frost, completely cold. An astonishing strength of blood lineage boundary started to rise wantonly, like a spirit of lightning. She actually didn't receive any injuries. David frowned, and the hand that was holding the blue rain sword tightened. The combined attack of the burning silence demonic flame and one sword flying immortal arts could not hurt Fallon in the slightest. This woman deserved to be called the top genius among all Sonola State. However, Compared to the fear in David's heart, Fallon's heart was filled with no small amount of fluctuations. Not only did her opponent's cultivation, which was merely at the seventh level of the Earth Profound stage, dissolve her attack several times in succession, he was also able to make such a precise counterattack. Even so, Fallon did not have any intention of looking down on David. Not bad eyesight, but unfortunately, in front of my holy body of thunder soul, it's useless. At the same time, the other two biting cold and hurried sounds of wind breaking rang out in the attack. Humph, you won't be able to escape, little bastard. A wind blew as a black tide covered the sky. Trouble-free valley and heaven domination dynasty followed along, and the chaotic and boundless true elemental strength caused the gravitational magnetic field in the ancient ruins to become even stronger. The wind billowed as a black tide covered the sky. David's battles at the ancient ruins caused the sky and earth to change color, and the ancient ruins started to tremble as well. Furthermore, with the arrival of Nolan from the heaven domination dynasty and others, the waves of air rose as well, and the boundless true elemental strength that the four of them were emitting unknowingly caused the strange, formless gravitational pull that existed here to become even more intense. Little bastard, you can't escape! Blaine's eyes flashed with a cold light. His single palm appeared out of nowhere, bringing with it an extraordinary pressure, causing a layer of beautiful golden film to occur. It sealed David within it. In that moment, David was like a piece of amber that was wrapped in pine resin and unable to escape. It's over. Fallon lifted her cold eyes slightly. Her indifferent gaze was as though she was looking at a dead man. Anyone could see that at this moment, David had practically exhausted all his physical strength and true elemental strength. From the start of the battle with Sage, David had always been in a state of extreme exhaustion, and it was worse now. Even if David was at his peak condition, it would be difficult for him to escape from these people. No matter how talented you are, from today onward, you will forever be known for this defeat. 
Nolan sneered, and then he took out his square holy trident. The trident tip struck forward, and its power pierced out as it rushed toward David with an unstoppable force. Fallon also moved her wrist. With fireworks-like popping sounds, millions of thunder patterns blossomed from her body. With a wave of the holy sword, a rainbow-colored thunder column shot out. The powerful attack emitted a thick aura of destruction. A cold smile appeared on Blaine's face. Along with movement of his five fingers, the space within the golden water barrier that shrouded David began to rapidly distort and contract. Go to hell! A seemingly unassailable three-way attack should finish off David. And yet, David's gaze was directed straight at Fallon, who was in front of him. It contained a sense of ridicule. It was also a look of disregard for her arrogant gaze and had a hint of sarcasm. In the next moment, the three terrifying powers exploded at one place. A heaven-shaking, earth-shattering sound was heard. It was as if a storm had fused with the scene, and waves of true essence thunder patterns surged into the sky, engulfing everything. The nine heavens were shaking uneasily, and a powerful wave of energy swept across the river, even leveling some mountains below. It was as if David was being attacked by a torrent from three different directions. Countless true essence beams shot out, tearing apart everything and turning the area into a death trap. The ancient ruins below began to collapse one by one. Only the mysterious altar and the five statues remained standing, as firm as rocks. A fierce wind swept across them. Then, the sinister smile on Blaine's face froze and was replaced a moment later with a layer of gloomy ice. What? Nolan frowned as he looked around in disbelief. Resplendent rays of light intertwined within the churning cyclones that filled the sky. The figure who had clearly been within a death chamber had disappeared into thin air before their eyes. How is this possible? Where is he? Nolan stared at Blaine in confusion. How should I know? The moment Blaine appeared, David's aura had completely disappeared. David had successfully escaped from under the noses of the three of them. How would they explain this to Sage when they returned? Fallon's cold eyes surged with deeper coldness, and after that, she slightly nodded and coldly spat out. A spatial transfer type treasure. Spatial transfer? Blaine and Nolan couldn't help but look at her. They knew that treasures like the revolving myriad beast painting and the soaring sky immortal talisman badge all belonged to the category of teleportation treasures, but such treasures were extremely rare. The mere brilliant time sect would not be able to provide so many life-saving items to their disciples. This immediately made Blaine and Nolan suspicious. Who exactly is this child? Blaine said, his eyes cold. I don't know how brilliant time sect would have that many defensive treasures. Fallon carelessly held her sword and said with a haughty tone, It's just luck. To be able to find a few strange things in one place, it's no big deal. It seemed to Fallon that it was not a big deal to let David escape by accident. Although David's performance today was indeed shocking, a woman as arrogant as Fallon had yet to give him a second glance. To her, it was merely letting the immortal talisman spiritual tree stay in David's hands for a few more days. She was indeed a woman with a heart higher than the heavens. Nolan sighed. It wasn't strange that members of Thunder Saint Palace despised people, and that didn't affect him much. But the rise of Brilliant Time Sect was a potential threat to Heaven Domination Dynasty, which was ranked at the bottom of the top ten strongest powers. I think that nasty guy has one chance to use the spatial transfer. If not, he wouldn't have waited until we all attacked before escaping. Nolan said with a gloomy voice, Maybe he hasn't gone far. We can split up and chase him, and there's absolutely a chance to quickly get rid of him. Blaine immediately agreed. That's right. He definitely won't be able to escape from me again. But Fallon just smiled indifferently, and without saying much, she flew away. Due to the majesty of the gigantic Thunder Saint Palace, neither one of them could stand up to her. 
Blaine's arrogant attitude made Nolan more unhappy than Fallon's attitude did. After all, he was an elder of the Heaven Domination Dynasty and a top expert in the Sky Profound Realm. For Junior to look down on him, it was a disgrace to him. She really is an arrogant woman. Nolan glanced with a trace of evil in the direction Fallon flew. This kind of woman had high standards. It was probably difficult to find a man within Sonola State who could conquer her. After a brief moment of thought, Nolan looked at Blaine. Blaine, why don't you and I search around again to see if we can find that scoundrel brat? Let's go. Soon, the two of them left the area one after the other. In the blink of an eye, the ancient ruins calmed down once more. Among the collapsed buildings, only the altar with the mysterious runes and secret talismans were left standing on top of the ground. Behind the altar, the five massive and imposing statues of evil spirits also remained. They looked like gods that were guarding the ruins. At this moment, a dark red rune on the altar wiggled its blood-colored body while an obscure bloody light seemed to flash within the huge bronze bell eyes of the largest statue in the middle. The strange gravitational force between heaven and earth started to move like a gradually stabilizing magnetic field, but everything calmed down quickly. The sky was clear, the heaven stairway was in the air as it should be, and the land of buried dragons was quiet once more. The inertia that could not be stopped made David feel like he was a sandbag caught in a tornado. The continuous impact caused his eyes to darken and golden stars to appear around him. What is going on? Where am I? Sparks and the rain of light flew in all directions. David felt like his body was completely out of his control as a strong gravity dragged him aimlessly around. He flew around randomly and crashed into rocks one after another. Along with a last heavy muffled sound, David firmly smashed onto the ground and finally stopped moving. His entire body was aching in pain and he was so dizzy that he couldn't even crawl anymore. He kept his eyes closed while trying to ignore the aching muscles and bones in his body. As he lay there, David also felt relieved. In the end, he was still alive. Following that, a clear sound came out from David's right hand. The exquisite jade pendant in his hand quietly cracked for the third time. When the third crack appeared, the jade ornament that was originally surrounded by a gentle glow also lost its light. Now, it sounded like glass being shattered. The entire jade ornament turned into tiny pieces did he retreat successfully? David slowly opened his eyes and lifted his hand in front of him with some difficulty. Looking at the remains of the jade pendant, he felt a little regretful. This jade pendant was the treasure gifted to him by the mysterious person who had taken Michelle away on the first day he had arrived at the Brilliant Time Sect. It had helped him escape death three times. The first time was after David met Top Kill Shah outside Canton when he was chased and killed by the Radiant's Holy Clan guards. Then, on the first day they entered the remote antiquity heavenly domain, he needed to lure the dead evil beast that was summoned by the blood refining sect into the pool of water that contained the ghost stings. He used his second chance to cause the two beasts to fight each other. And today was the third time. In the three life and death situations, he was grateful to have had this jade pendant. At the same time, this also meant that all three chances of survival had been used up. Just as David was meditating to rest, holy winged heavenly fired sparrow's voice that was filled with some seriousness rang inside his head. It seems like we are not doing well right now. Oh. Hearing Sparrow's words, David's weariness immediately disappeared. He sat up from the ground and asked in confusion, What do you mean by not being optimistic? Sparrow said, Take a look and see where this place is. Where is this place? Could he have been sent outside the remote antiquity heavenly domain? 
Looking around, David quickly frowned. What appeared before his eyes was a desolate and dark world. The sky above was hazy, with rocks of all different sizes floating endlessly. It was as if the vast universe, the primal chaos of the universe, had yet to be divided into two. What is this? David was dumbstruck. No matter how much he looked around, all he saw were some of the rocks in the air, some that had been shattered, and some rocks on the ground. It was obvious that he had just randomly rammed into the suspended rocks. The skies above them were like primordial chaos, and the earth itself was a barren wasteland. David stood up in a daze and looked around at his surroundings. It was as if he was in an entirely different world from the one he had been in just now. Where are we? David could not resist asking. After a short period of silence, Sparrow said, When you were using the jade pendant to convert space, did you notice anything strange? Had something been abnormal? The corners of David's eyes slightly narrowed, and he sank into deep thought. He remembered the previous two times when he had used this jade pendant and realized the inertia and impact had not been as intense as this time. This time, it felt as if there was an invisible pulling force that forcefully dragged him over. Wait. David raised both his eyes, clenched his fists, and said, I'm not too sure. Just now, when I was performing a spatial transfer, a red flowing light seemed to have appeared before my eyes. The first two times, it did not appear. David's reply brought a long silence from Holy Winged Heavenly Fired Sparrow. What's going on? Tell me clearly. David was a little anxious. Let me feel how much your strength has been suppressed. Sparrow's voice was serious. With some suspicions, David immediately controlled the true elemental strength in his body to release itself. Wave after wave spread out, lifting up the gravel and dust on the ground. David shook his head and replied, Less than 80%. Compared to being in other places, here he could display less than 80% of his power. It was strange, amazing, and most of all, suspicious. Can you still use the 80%? Sparrow muttered to himself, as if pondering something. Tell me clearly, where are we? David asked again. It's not your style to answer directly, is it? I can't be sure for now, but I'll take a look elsewhere first. All right, don't tell me that we are already out of the remote antiquity heavenly domain. From the cautious tone of holy winged heavenly fired Sparrow, David had detected something. But he did not ask any further. Instead, he determined the direction they were facing and discovered there was a considerably wide path ahead of them. The two sides of the path were overgrown with grayish weeds and plants. The entire area was covered in a grayish haze that was giving off an indescribably strange aura. With vigilance in his heart, David continued to consume spirit medicines to recover his depleted body while walking forward on the path. Fog lingered in the distance. The surroundings were deathly still. Only the sound of his own footsteps could be heard. A dried-up bone appeared ten meters away from him. David frowned, and the alertness in his heart immediately raised. When he walked closer, he could see more bones and some were already in pieces, but he could still make out that they were human bones. Human bones were here. David's heart became heavier. He continued to walk forward only to see a few more incomplete bones in succession. Soon after, he felt an ancient aura and a large plaza appeared in front of him. The stone tiles on the ground were full of holes. Several ancient and unadorned palace pillars stood on both sides of the square, which was filled with dust and impurities. A few balls of dark blue phosphorescence danced like ghosts. The ground of the square was littered with dried bones. These bones had long ago turned black, and most of their clothes had rotted. It was clear that these bones were ancient. Walking to the stone steps of the square, 
a clear tapping sound entered his ears. David tried his best to sense auras around him, attempting to search for other living things. However, it seemed as though he was the only one here. In only a couple of minutes, David arrived at the center of the plaza. In front of him in the middle was an even more imposing large Dao pillar than what he'd seen before. In the Dao pillar stood a row of gigantic stone pillars that were over a hundred meters tall. From afar, the row of stone pillars looked like a metal gate holding a vicious beast. Behind the rows of stone pillars, he heard buzzing. In that instant, David's pupils intensely shrank. His heart felt as if it had been struck by a heavy hammer, and shock spread across his entire face. This, this is... An ice-cold chill blew from behind him. David's pupils intensely shrank, and all the hairs on his body involuntarily stood up straight. David saw a pair of eye sockets that were like deep black holes. The owner of these eye sockets was an incomparably large skeleton. The spine of the skeleton was long and well-defined, like a series of ridges. The gigantic head of the skeleton was terrifying. Its broad upper and lower jaws were filled with sharp teeth. Even though it was only a skeleton, for some reason, when David stood in front of it, he felt like he was facing a peerlessly vicious being that could destroy the heavens and earth. The remnant power of a demon god body could still be felt. Rows of towering stone pillars were arranged side by side, just like a gigantic gate. Behind it, the huge skeleton was emitting an indestructible and intimidating aura. Under the dim light of this world, the ancient square platform had experienced many vicissitudes of life. Phosphorus flames were rising. David appeared tiny at this moment. It was as if he had accidentally entered a demon sealing forbidden land that had been sealed for tens of thousands of years. What is this place? No matter how much David suppressed his heart, he was still restless and unable to calm down. Looking at the scattered skeletons and random bones in the plaza, his mind couldn't help but be filled with the temporary despair and struggle of those people. Looks like I wasn't wrong. Holy winged heavenly fired sparrow's heavy voice spoke. We are currently in the midst of the five saints sealing arts. In that moment, David felt as if he was struck by lightning and shock waves rose in his heart. Even though David had sensed something, after hearing the confirmation, he couldn't help but be shocked. Then it is? The dragon's burial ground. David couldn't help but gasp. Dragons were ancient, peerless, divine beasts that most people thought existed only in legends. People in the world had heard of them, but had never seen them with their own eyes. The ancient people of the clouds, the dragon people, who were gods, knew but most of them were dangerous. Even if they were gods, they could still be evil. They could call the wind and summon the rain, overturn the rivers and fill the sea. Standing above the billions of demonic beasts, they possessed world-shocking divine power. The people of this world were all in awe of the true dragon. Now, David had a genuine set of dragon bones in front of him. This kind of feeling he had was like he was in a dream. Standing before the dragon bones, David felt as though a terrifying beast was staring down at him. The formless pressure made him feel a lot more burdened. The dragon had died at least a few thousand years ago, and there was still such a powerful force remaining. It was hard to imagine just what sort of terrifying existence this colossal dragon had when it was still alive. While David was shocked, he was even more confused and solemn. The Five Saints Sealing Arts. The Dragon's Burial Land. Just what kind of world-shocking power was able to bury this peerless evil dragon with the seal here? Similarly, what should he do next? David calmed down and asked, Why are we here? You said that when using the space in the jade pendant to teleport, a red light appeared. Yes. That's the problem. We were forcefully dragged in here by the five saint sealing arts. What? 
The corners of David's eyes narrowed as he became even more confused. Why? There were clearly other people there, and Blaine, Fallon, and Nolan's realms were all higher than his. Why were all of them fine? Was it just because he used the spatial transfer jade? Sparrow did not directly answer David's question, but explained in detail. This five saint ceiling arch is extremely ancient, and the destruction of many runes caused the trajectory of the seal to change. How powerful were the five saint ceiling arts? The power of the seal's restrictions was unstable. It was enough to spread to the entire area. Once someone came here and released the true elemental strength, the power in their body would form a strange resonance with the chaotic magnetic field. This also explained why David found out earlier that the strong and invisible laws of space in these ancient ruins had something to do with his own true elemental strength. The greater the release of the true elemental strength, the stronger the spatial movement. The main reason was the existence of the five saint sealing arts. When the power of the outside world reaches a certain point, it will trigger the powerful circulation of the five saint sealing arts. Of course, it is not surprising that you would appear here, but there is also the random choice of teleporting through the Jade Pendant, which coincidentally sent you here. After hearing Sparrow's explanation, David's immediate thought was that this was an absolute scam. It made David have the urge to curse. The remote antiquity heavenly domain was definitely an unexpected place. Besides the rewards that littered the place, there were also traps that people mysteriously stepped on. David's gaze swept across the surroundings of the ancient plaza once again. The skeletons lying on the ground were most likely the unlucky ones that had accidentally barged into this place. Would he become one of them? Having experienced life and death situations before, David quickly regained his calm. What do we do now? Since Holy Winged Heavenly Fired Sparrow understood the Five Saints Sealing Arts so well, it was likely that they had not reached the point of no return. At a time like this, Sparrow knew that he could not allow David to handle the situation by himself. Sparrow replied, Just like what I said just now, the Five Saints Sealing Arts has existed for so many years. I believe the amount of energy used to support it is almost gone. There must be a weakness in it. If we can find that place and break through it, then we can escape. There was indeed a way. David's eyes lit up. You can find that place? I don't have time to waste here. Right now, he still did not know about the brilliant time set and what other situations members were in. If he was not able to meet up with them in time and they came looking for him, who knew what kind of trouble would occur? David just wanted to leave this place quickly. Let's go up and take a look, Sparrow replied. Oh? David raised his head, his deep eyes looking at the endless void filled with countless rocks, vast and mysterious, as though he was a beast in deep sleep. After taking in a deep breath, David immediately moved, transforming into a streak of light that flew into the sky charging straight into the vast floating boulders. This independent seal was much more vast than David had imagined. Rocks floated in midair, just like the meteorites in the universe he knew. David aimlessly entered and wantonly searched about. He was like a small boat in the middle of a myriad of lonely islands, and he didn't know how to make a move. David flashed back and forth with the force of the wind, Yet he was still unable to sense any difference, even though he had passed over tens of thousands of floating rocks. In the blink of an eye, four hours had passed. David still had not gained anything. Just as he was about to return to the ground to rest, a surprised voice came from Sparrow. Top left, about 200 meters. David was overjoyed and immediately drew out a residual shadow and flew to the left side. He saw a rather large boulder that was floating there with a width of around 50 to 60 meters. It looked like a small island. Unlike the other rocks, this one was quite large and had a flat surface. 
A layer of light ripples spread out as David impatiently landed on top of the huge boulder. The first thing he saw was a circular arch standing in the middle of it. The arch didn't have any doors or gates. Indeed, it just stood there all by itself. It didn't seem harmonious at all. Also mysterious was a layer of red light curtain floating in the middle of the arch. It was like muslin separating the front and the back of the arch. However, there were some bones lying on the ground about three or four meters away from the arch. It was obvious that David was not the first person to find this place. The tens of thousands of floating rocks in the air were like meteorites in the vast universe David knew. David stood atop a flat boulder that was around 40 to 50 meters wide and looked solemnly at the circular arch that was erected in the middle of it. He couldn't tell much about the arch. There was only the frame. The interior of the frame was connected to a layer of solid red light curtain. It was extremely mysterious like a time portal that traveled through space. Looking at that layer of light curtain, David couldn't help but feel like he was separated from the outside world by a wall. This was the way out. However, between David and the front of the arched door, there were a few bones lying. After being covered in dust for a long time, these bones had become as rotten as decayed wood. Two broken swords lay next to one of the bones, a thick layer of dust concealed the sharpness of the blades, and at the same time, they were evidence of someone whose hope of escaping was destroyed. Others had already found this place. It was impossible to determine what rank of existence these people were when they were alive, but obviously, they had all failed. Looking at it closely, the layer of red light curtain was as solid as a thick layer of ice. From time to time, it would flash with beautiful ancient talisman inscriptions, and when David touched the surface of the light curtain with his fingertips, it released a dense red light that repelled David's finger. David frowned and said, What a strong strength density! Holy Wing Heavenly Fired Sparrow said, Even though it has existed for several thousand years, it is still a five saint sealing arts. Even the weakest part of it is not something that can be easily broken through. David clenched his fists and his eyes flashed with the light of determination. Who cares about the five saints sealing arts? I have to get out. In that instant, the purple house of true essence exploded and the true elemental strength surged out like a strong tide. David's palm congealed as an unending stream of strength of seven stars rapidly gathered and rotated. Waves of air whirled, space trembled, and a ball of extremely dense energy swiftly formed. Merak, kill. As if controlling the stars, David swept up the majestic force, and his palm moved forward, directly smashing toward the arched door in front of him. A loud and heavy explosion rang out, accompanied by a ring of powerful energy waves that were being rapidly vented. The ball of energy in his palm turned out to be like a snowball striking against a steel plate, incomparably weak. David's eyes were wide open, his face was filled with astonishment, and when he pulled back his arm, he saw that the red light curtain did not have any damage. It only trembled slightly, and there were no other changes. What the? Immediately after, the aura inside David's body soared exponentially. His pitch black eyes turned a demonic purple, and at the same time, a dense demonic black aura burst out from his body. The strength of demonic eye and the strength of chaos were released. Two sturdy pillars of light patterns, one black and one purple, shot up into the sky with the force of two enormous dragons. Following that, David struck out his fist once again, and a heavy fist surging with two rays of light smashed solidly onto the red light curtain. Tens of thousands of the strength of thunderclap condensed and exploded at one point, and the terrifying energy completely poured outward. The huge boulder cracked under David's feet, 
and circular ripples spread on the surface of the light curtain. The light curtain shook violently, but it calmed down in less than five seconds. David was stunned. It was an absolute blow. David's full-strength attack had only caused the arch to sway a few times. Moreover, this was the weakest point of the five saint ceiling arts. In a split second, he felt a surge of nameless fire in his heart. The excitement of victory also made David unwilling to admit defeat like this. I refuse to believe that I can't smash your broken door today. The aura of the seventh level of the Earth Profound stage exploded outward without reservation. David flew backward a hundred meters as a pair of strange purple eyes shot out ice-cold demonic flames. Demon flames. Burial. One sword flying immortal arts. Star Soul. Four critical strikes. The ferocious and intimidating purple flame azure dragon, like the majestic sword pillar with its divine light, gathered the seven star soul and the four star soul beads power. Again and again, violent and terrifying destructive forces continued to smash against that arch door. A huge wave of energy swept across the universe. The rocks that were floating in the sky were all crushed into pieces. Besides the various powerful martial arts, David even used the spiritual inner strength. True essence combined with the rune art, using the great way of the divine array to carry out the fusion, displaying the combined attack of the spiritual martial force. Chaotic waves covered the area, and under the assault of such a strong storm, the gigantic boulder was turned to powder. However, the circular red arch door was still hanging solidly in place, mysterious and dazzling, like a vicious beast's evil eye among the infinite galaxies. The light that shone from the ancient inscription looked like it was mocking David. After he wantonly spent it, the true elemental strength in David's body dried up. He landed on another stone suspended nearby and knelt on one knee. With one hand on the blue rain sword and the other on the sword tip, he leaned on the ground with a pale face and continuously gasped heavily. There was no other way. Are you still planning to hide in there and watch the show? David's voice carried a trace of dissatisfaction. From start to finish, Sparrow had never offered to help. David was infuriated to see him fail in his attempt to do anything. After a short moment of silence, Sparrow faintly spat out, I'm sorry. David frowned slightly. According to Sparrow's personality, he would never say the word cooperation. Although the relationship between the two sides was cooperative, Sparrow had always held the upper hand. After all, David couldn't do anything to him. However, after spending so much time together, although they were not on good terms with each other, it was certain that they understood each other. Suddenly, David remembered something Holy Winged Heavenly Fired Sparrow had asked him. How much of your strength has been suppressed? David's answer was that he could reach only around 80% of his usual strength. The question that he had seemingly asked unintentionally appeared to have another meaning to it now that he thought about it. How much of your strength has been suppressed? David asked. You're getting smarter. Thank you, David said unhappily. About 80%, Sparrow replied. That was the same as me. A helpless smile followed. This was not to say either could unleash only 20% of his strength. David was confused. Why were you affected more than I was? Because this five saint ceiling arts is not meant for you humans. The five saint ceiling arts was not aimed at humans? After waking up from his stupor, David looked toward the ancient plaza below. In the middle of the ancient stage, that giant dragon skeleton exuded an intimidating aura that did not retreat at all. The sacrificial altar, the land of the buried dragons. This was a powerful ceiling arts that had been set up specifically to bury and kill that dragon. And the pressure that Sparrow, who was also a demonic beast, was bearing greatly exceeded the limits of what David felt. So that's how it is. After a moment of realization, 
David shook his head helplessly and said, It seems like the one who should apologize is me. This simple sentence once again caused Sparrow to fall into silence. David's answer was obviously out of Sparrow's expectations. Thank you. Hearing this thank you, the corners of David's mouth curved into a relieved smile. He clearly understood the meaning of this reply. After all, things like trust often depended on the specific situation. What should he do next? David fell into deep thought. Sparrow was unable to help, and the situation had become a lot more serious than expected. I'm afraid that I won't be able to break this level of seal within a short period of time. Sparrow understood the five saint sealing arts well, and perhaps they could only wait until the seal became weaker before letting the two of them work together to break it. However, no one could guarantee how long they would have to wait. Then, determination flashed in David's eyes. That may not be so. That may not be the case. David's sudden reply surprised Holy Winged Heavenly Fired Sparrow. David then flipped his hand. With a flash of white light, a small, exquisite wooden box appeared in his hand. I still have this one. The wooden box opened, and a pill the size of a raspberry bloomed with bright golden lines. This pill looked like a bronze pearl. Inside, there was an extremely obscure and restless fluctuation. What is this? Sparrow was surprised. David slightly nodded and replied with confidence. A pill of rebirth from the cauldron. This was the reward for completing the mission of collecting the heaven and earth profound yellow tokens given to David by the flying immortal hallmaster Helene before the announcement the remote antiquity heavenly domain was about to begin. David was not the only one who had obtained it. Shane, who had completed his mission with the four women, also obtained a pill of rebirth from the cauldron. This kind of pill's construction cost was extremely high, and the materials needed were incredibly expensive. In the entire brilliant time sect, there were not more than a hundred of them. There was no doubt about the value of the pill. It could burst forth with ten times the normal strength in an instant. Furthermore, there would be no side effects after the pill was broken. A strength that was ten times stronger could definitely be called the best counterattack. He didn't know whether the other people had already used their pill of rebirth after they broke through. David had chosen to keep it for the last moment. It was like evaluating when to use the three chances to teleport through the Jade Pendant. So far, other options have appeared. Take the intense battle at the Great Dao Cliff, for example. If it was not for the little monkey saving the situation in an unexpected way, at that time, David would have already prepared to consume the pill of rebirth. So now, fortunately, the opportunity was still in David's hands. I almost forgot Brilliant Time Sec rewarded you with a pill, Sparrow said. David definitely had luck on his side in his adventures. From the moment he arrived at the remote antiquity heavenly domain, he had encountered many dangerous moments in a row. He fought the bloody battle with the blood refining sect, had the astonishing change at the immortal site platform, was in the Great War of Seven Star City, and finally experienced the Great Dow Cliff. It really wasn't easy. Then, Sparrow's next sentence was just like a bucket of cold water that drenched David from head to toe. I estimate that this pill is not enough to help us escape. What did you say? David immediately frowned and tightened his grip on the small box. There's not much hope, Sparrow replied slowly. Compared to the other people of the same generation, you are indeed an exception. But honestly speaking, using the pill of rebirth would allow you to increase your strength tenfold in a short amount of time, but only to reach a level similar to Thunder Saint Palace or Myriad Generation Sect. Even with that level of cultivation, breaking through the door in front of us is not likely. If anyone else heard these words, 
they would have a whole new level of respect for David. Relying on a broken pill, he could be on par with Fallon, Gemma, and the others. This was definitely a huge compliment. But when David heard what Sparrow said, he fell into silence. He naturally knew that the holy-winged, heavenly-fired Sparrow would not intentionally insult him at this point. After all, they had been in the same boat the entire time. Most importantly, the time limit for using a pill after opening it was limited, and he had only one chance. In other words, even with using the pill of rebirth from the cauldron, he could not break the seal, and it would be almost impossible to leave. His confidence was thwarted once again. At this moment, David felt that the beautiful pill in his hands was incredibly heavy, like a wager, and with a slim wind ring. But if he could raise his cultivation, a bright light surfaced in David's eyes. If it was difficult to break through this seal barrier with ten times the power of someone at the seventh level of the Earth Profound stage, then what if it was ten times the power of someone at the eighth level of the Earth Profound stage, or higher? The answer was obvious. From the first to the ninth level of the Earth Profound stage, the pill of rebirth from the cauldron would be able to amplify his strength tenfold. That's the only way. Immediately, David took out all the items from his storage ring. A burst of dazzling light flashed, and immediately, the ground in front of David was filled with a myriad of items. Martial arts scrolls, sacred artifact spirit treasures, and millions of high-grade elemental crystal stones. He didn't realize he had so many things. Looking at the mountain of elemental crystal stones, David laughed. Then, he waved his arm and picked up all the items before flashing down toward the ancient plaza. Carrying all his belongings, David returned to the gigantic Dragon's Dow altar within the seal. Crystals that looked like bricks littered the ground. The splendid light made this dark and aged square seem even more luxurious. Without the slightest hesitation, David released a dense spiritual inner strength, and millions of spiritual butterfly inscriptions began to circulate around his fingertips. He then flipped both palms outward, and countless runes scattered in the air like fireworks. The ground released sets of undulations, and in the blink of an eye, a complex spirit-gathering great array that had a 100-meter diameter appeared beneath David's feet. David was at the center of the formation and used the millions of high-grade elemental crystal stones in front of him to suppress the various major focuses of the formation. In that instant, the spirit convergence array was activated and revolved rapidly like a divine wheel. David closed his eyes and activated his purple house of true essence, allowing the energy that was comparable to a huge torrent to flow into the major meridians in his body. It was colorful and dazzling like the morning sunrise. In the ancient plaza, the dragon skeleton that was inside the row of pillars lay behind David. This scene was both strange and mysterious. The endless golden spirit patterns were like spiritual springs and divine vines as they burrowed into David's body. The large amount of high-grade elemental crystal stones were quickly drained of their energy. One after another, the treasure crystals that covered the ground were losing their pure luster at a rate visible to the naked eye. The transparent light rapidly darkened, and they turned into pieces of dark fragments. David's purple house of true essence in his energy center was like an unfilled abyss, completely absorbing all the spirit energy within it. The aura it was emitting was also becoming increasingly vigorous and powerful. Dust rose, and the air was filled with an empowering feeling as it danced about. The entire space was stirred up. The sky was clear. A lone figure stood watching the cross-cut iron chain bridge and mysterious altar. He has indeed disappeared. On top of a mountain cliff, Fallon's eyes were suffused with a faint coldness. She looked coldly ahead at the enormous gullies that cut through the north and south. It was grand and magnificent. The five demonic statues were like gods guarding this area. Their might was still there 
causing normal people's hearts to palpitate in fear. As a monstrous genius who emerged from the Thunder Saint Palace, Fallon was naturally able to sense that there was something unusual about this dragon's burial ground. Blaine and Nolan thought Fallon had left, but she had not. She had been waiting in the dark. But after three days had passed, it was not the scene Fallon had expected. It seemed like there was no need to waste any more time here. Waiting for three days was her limit. In her opinion, there were more important things to be done. Still, she said, You won't be so lucky if I meet you again. Fallon coldly swept her eyes over the ancient sacrificial altar in front of her. Then the space around her trembled, and a wave of air rippled outward as she instantly disappeared from where she stood. It seems like that woman has given up. And at the side of another mountain stream, Nolan's eyes slightly narrowed as he let out a deep sigh of relief. Blaine, there is no longer any need for us to stay here. That damned little bastard. Blaine's face turned gloomy. David had managed to slip away, and he was unhappy. Right now, he still did not know whether Sage had managed to get back the owner of the harmonious energy holy body. If not, then the losses of his trouble-free valley this time would definitely be great. What is it? Are you worried that young Master Sage will blame you? Nolan was also a smart person. He could tell what Blaine was thinking with a glance. Blaine snorted coldly as his reply. Nolan smiled lightly, and with a hint of playfulness, he said, Honestly speaking, Sage does indeed have some brains, but he is a bit too confident. What kind of place is the remote antiquity heavenly domain? Other than the three great powers, who else would dare to be so rampant here? Sage is too arrogant. If he had brought you along with him from the beginning, things would have worked out better. Humph, what's the use of saying all this now? It could be seen that Nolan's words had reached Blaine's heart. Clearly, Sage himself had messed up. But now, he was asking Blaine to clean it up. However, Sage was still a young master. So although Blaine had some unspeakable bitterness, he dared not say anything, even if he was angry. Nolan raised his eyebrows slightly but laughed, and he said, Blaine, in truth, I have a plan that will allow you to make amends for your crimes. Oh? Do you know why that Fallon woman left in such a hurry? Nolan had a meaningful look in his eyes. The corners of Blaine's eyes narrowed. Tell me about it. I'm afraid Fallon is in a hurry to reach the assassination cloud's realm. It could be said to be the most dangerous forbidden grounds within the remote antiquity heavenly domain. In that place, the entire region was enveloped by the extremely terrifying natural punishments tribulation lightning. And ordinary people found it difficult even to enter. Assassination Cloud Realm. Blaine squinted. What do you mean by that? It's for those supreme divine objects that can be nurtured over tens of thousands of years, like the Heart of Profound Divine Thunder. Heart of Profound Divine Thunder? When these words came out, even Blaine, who was a member of the Heaven Profound stage, couldn't help but tremble as burning desire flashed in his eyes. However, he quickly covered up the longing in his heart. The current situation of the remote antiquity heavenly domain was chaotic, and with only the strength of the trouble-free valley, how could they go against the profound practitioners? Nolan laughed and said, According to what I know, Jamie left for the assassination cloud's realm a few days ago. This time, the Thunder Saint Palace is determined to deal with the heart of profound divine thunder. What's the use of you telling me all this? Blaine said while rolling his eyes. Could it be that you are delusional enough to want to compete with the Thunder Saint Palace? Don't forget, the people from Myriad Generations Sect and Glorious Hall haven't spoken yet. Nolan laughed sinisterly. As they say, wealth comes from danger, and since you, Blaine, are here, do you think you can just let the heart of profound divine thunder go to someone else? What do you want? Blaine asked. It's simple. My Heaven Domination Dynasty and yours have teamed up. If we can seize the Divine Object, both sides will have to share. If we fail, neither side will suffer any losses. Nolan, 
who came from the Imperial family, had a huge ambition, but Blaine hesitated. It was hard to imagine what would happen if he failed in this kind of matter. Blaine, is there anything you want to say? Nolan asked. Sighing softly, Blaine shook his head and said, Truth be told, if I agreed to this way, then whatever happened would cause Valley Master to blame me. And I will never know how I die. Blaine, you are overthinking it. You should just make a suggestion to Sage. As for whether he agrees or not, leave it to him to handle. If it fails, the responsibility will naturally fall on Sage. What does it have to do with you? If you are successful, he will commend you for your great contribution. What do you think? After listening to Nolan's explanation, Blaine felt it made sense. He muttered to himself, Losing the harmonious energy holy body is bad. But if I can obtain the heart of profound divine thunder, it wouldn't be such a great loss. He told Nolan, All right, let's go back and discuss this with young master. Nolan smiled. You are a wise elder. Let's go. Meanwhile, at David's location, the sky and the earth darkened and phosphorescent flames danced in the air. The old square was like a forgotten sanctuary. There were rocks floating in the sky like there were still chaos. A circular arch was silently floating there. The mysterious red light from it shone like the door to another time and space. In the plaza, a row of stone pillars that supported the skies were like bars trapping the dragon's bones within. A pair of empty eyes overlooked the area below as if they were staring at the youth standing in the center of the spirit gathering array. The operating speed of the spirit gathering formation continued to become stable. The gorgeous light patterns interweaved like a divine wheel. Then, with a soft sigh, David woke up from his cultivation. He first saw the pieces of elemental crystal stones that littered the ground. They were a dark and gloomy color. More than a million high-grade elemental crystal stones worth of energy strength were devoured by David within the span of three days. However, the expected result did not appear. David's cultivation was still at the peak of the seventh level. He had been unable to step into the eighth level. Your mental state is already in chaos, so even if you absorb another two times the amount of high-grade elemental crystal stones, the result would still be the same. Holy winged heavenly fired sparrow's voice was somewhat ethereal as it reached David's ears, slightly calming his somewhat frantic heart. On the road of martial arts, the biggest taboo was being ambitious. The more impatient you are to break through, the more you will be stuck at the bottleneck. Due to the outside situation, David had lost his calm heart. Millions of high-grade elemental crystal stones had plenty of energy strength within them, but he just could not advance to a higher level. There's no other way. I'll sleep first. David also clearly knew where his problem was. Since there was no use being anxious, he could only wait patiently. After he finished speaking, David stretched his back and took the opportunity to lie down amidst the messy pile of elemental crystal stone. Huh? What is this? David's fingertip happened to touch a bit of cold, solid material. A black corner was revealed amidst the pile of elemental crystal stone dregs. David casually took it out. What appeared in front of him was an iron box. What is this? The metal box was about 20 to 30 centimeters square. Its surface was covered with many exquisite and complex dark gold patterns. When he touched it, the box felt no different than that of winter ice. This is what Senior Top Kill gave me. David sat up, his eyes revealing a sense of solemnness. After the Seven Souls House bloody battle at Canton, David had bumped into the devil human, Top Kill Shaw, who was fighting against a few of the Radiant's Holy Clan guards. Before Top Kill Shaw was taken away, he passed the metal box to David and warned him repeatedly with incomparable seriousness that he must think of ways to destroy all the things within it. Due to the time available, Top Kill Shaw was unable to deliver the other information. After that, David was pursued. 
It was during that time that he used his first chance at survival from the Jade Pendant. David was grateful to Top Kill Shah. Even though he was known as the Devil Human, in reality, he was a rare, good person. According to Top Kill Shah's warning, David needed to find a chance to destroy the items inside the metal box. But after he returned to Barnfell, many things happened, and he did not have time to handle them. After that, when the remote antiquity heavenly domain was activated, he began to wander around, and this matter was almost forgotten. I'm so sorry. Senior Top Kill, I almost forgot your orders. David helplessly shook his head. At the same time, he frowned. Back then, he was powerless to do anything as he watched Top Kill Shah being taken away. Forget it. Since the remote antiquity heavenly domain is open once every thousand years, the dragon's burial ground will prevent people from returning. I will bury this metal box under this dragon skeleton. Even if it is 10,000 years later, there will not be anyone who will be able to dig it out. David held the metal box with both his hands and prepared to walk toward the dragon's skeleton. The mysterious metal box that he found accidentally caused David to sink into deep thought. Before he had opened the remote antiquity heavenly domain, he had happened to meet Top Kill Shah and received instructions from him to find a way to destroy what was within the box. If he hadn't accidentally found it today, who knows when he would have remembered. Forget it. When the remote antiquity heavenly domain opens once every thousand years, this dragon's burial ground will make people unable to return here. I will bury this thing under that dragon skeleton. Even if it's ten thousand years later, no one will find out that this is more or less what Senior Top Kill had told me to do. After making his decision, David held the iron box with both his hands and walked toward the dragon skeleton behind him. But right at this moment, a thought flashed across David's mind. He stopped in his tracks, and his deep gaze stayed on the black box in his hands. His eyes flickered with traces of sharpness, as if he wanted to see through the lid of the box to learn what was inside. In that short moment, David's thoughts turned. Senior Topkill told me to destroy the things inside, but he did not say that I was not allowed to see what was inside. If I were to open it and take a look, I believe that would be fine as well. It was natural to be curious. Especially in this deserted place, the metal box in David's hands was full of mystery. Anyone else would be curious. After exhaling a long breath of relief, a hint of anticipation flashed in David's eyes. He placed the metal box at his feet and at the same time released a powerful true elemental strength from his two palms. The moment it came into contact with the external force, the metal box released a wave of obscure energy fluctuations. Immediately following that, icy blue light patterns blossomed and moved like a blue spider web that enveloped everything. At the same time, a deep bone-piercing cold aura surged out from David's fingertips. This kind of feeling was as if he had fallen into an ice cave as an incomparably evil and dark aura rushed into the depths of David's soul. This had happened before. David paused slightly, his face filled with caution. The last time, he remembered, it was also like this. It gave off a feeling as if there was an incomparably ferocious and evil being hidden within this metal box. Do I want to continue? After a brief moment of hesitation, determination flashed in David's eyes. He did not choose to stop like last time, but rather increased the output of his true elemental strength. In an instant, the surging true elemental strength enveloped the metal box within it. The external force caused the ice blue pattern on the metal box to become even more beautiful. It was like an intricate metal chain tied to the box, making it extremely sturdy. He could see that Top Kill Shaw had used all his strength to set up this layer of seal. If it was like earlier, with David's cultivation at the time, he would not be able to remove the restriction on it. But it was not the same now. David's current strength had most likely already surpassed Top Kill Shaw's. After about 10 minutes, a light cracking sound could be heard, 
and the icy blue crystal patterns on the surface were like tiny icicles that had collapsed. The dense and minute crystal pyroclast burst apart, like dust dancing in the air. At this moment, David's heart was in his throat. He curled his fingers into a fist and subconsciously tightened his fingers before opening his hands again. Honestly, he was a bit worried that a cruel and malicious creature would jump out from within. However, at this point, his curiosity was piqued as well. As his fingertips made contact with the ice-cold lid of the box, David felt as if he was opening a door to heaven that led to another dimension. The moment he slowly opened the lid of the box, David's eyelids twitched, and his slightly trembling pupils reflected the image of a demonic and bizarre human face. An incomparably cold chill ran down his back and into his body. He saw a medallion lay within the curved sides of the box. The design of the medallion was peculiar. The patterns drawn on it were long and narrow and evil. It looked like a human face, or perhaps it was more accurate to say a demonic mask. He smiled hesitantly. The more he looked, the more his heart palpitated. This, this, could this be the sky energy token? Holy winged heavenly fired sparrow's voice had never been so solemn before. If the five saint sealing arts he had seen outside caused Sparrow to be cautious, then this strange mask in front of him had caused the deepest part of Sparrow's soul to tremble. The sky energy token? These words immediately left a deep imprint on David's mind. His intuition was telling him that this item had an extraordinary origin. Sparrow still had not recovered from the shock. I can't believe that the famous sky energy token would actually appear in the eastern lands. In contrast, David, who did not know why this object was made, became more and more clear-headed. What exactly is this thing? He asked. Sparrow paused for a few seconds, then let out a long breath and said, The sky energy token is the supreme treasure of the same generation as the divine stone of the great Tao. But the sky energy token is biased toward the fierce evil side. This information alone was enough to show just how extraordinary this object was. On the other hand, being biased toward fierce evil was not beyond David's expectations. After all, even through the seal outside the box, he was able to sense the enormous evil aura contained within. What is the origin of this thing? David was filled with curiosity. There is a space named God Forbidden Blood Jail. Within the Blood Jail, the source of great calamity is gathered. The Lord of all evils is there, and his massacre rules over everything. Destruction is the main purpose and path. The Sky Energy Token came from there. God Forbidden Blood Jail. The source of all evil. The Lord of all evils. Slaughter. Destruction. The whales of all living things like hell. These words struck David's mind. In his mind, a bloody and lifeless world of Azura appeared. This world was even more mysterious and vast than he had thought. Perhaps only when one reached the peak level of Holy Winged Heavenly Fired Sparrow would one have the qualifications to peek into a corner of this world. What is this thing used for? David asked. Why are you asking? No reason. Just curious. After a moment of hesitation, Sparrow replied, Those who obtain the Sky Energy Token can look into the abilities of gods and devils. With blood as an offering, they can obtain the power of the evil god. The power of the evil god? David was surprised. Anyone can do this? That's right, but the power of the evil god was born from slaughter. The more they destroyed the stronger the power of the evil god would be, and the faster their cultivation would grow. However, Sparrow's tone clearly became a bit more serious. The power of the evil god is something almost no one can control. After obtaining the heaven-defying power, the result is always erosion by the evil aura, causing the heart demon to constantly expand. Eventually, the person falls into the devil Tao and becomes the slave of the evil god. Those who acquired the Sky Energy Token could look at the abilities of gods and devils and use their blood as an offering to obtain the power of the evil god. The power of the evil god was born from slaughter and destruction. 
Every time the Sky Energy token appeared, it would be accompanied by a storm of blood. This was a supreme treasure that belonged to the same era as the Divine Stone of the Great Tao. It could allow one to reach the heavens in one step, wield a palm that could defy the heavens, and have the strength of a god. Those who held the order were often invaded by the evil energy and controlled by the demons in their hearts. They eventually fell into the Devil Tao and became the servants of the evil god. Each word was like a gem, pounding David's heart. After hearing the story from Holy Winged Heavenly Fired Sparrow, David's heart surged and he was unable to calm down. He looked at the sky energy token in his hands, which seemed to weigh 10,000 pounds. The inscriptions on its demonic face were enticing, like a charming woman dancing among flowers in the moonlight. There was no doubt that the power of the evil gods was definitely a desired power. However, there was a potential threat that no one could understand. David could not help but suspect that the fate of the benevolent Topkill Shaw, who was once praised by everyone, had been changed because of this sky energy token. And the reason Topkill Shaw and the Radiance Holy Clan were intertwined, was it also because of this object in front of his eyes? David shook his head and gently closed the lid. That charming pattern still lingered in his mind. Looking around the area, David couldn't help but sink into deep thought. The Five Saints Sealing Arts. The Sky Energy Token. What would happen to the two of them? Was this their fate? David seemed to be struggling in his heart as he clenched his teeth. Then he quickly got up, walked to the end of the gigantic dragon skeleton behind him, and dug a hole under one of the stone pillars before placing the iron box inside. That's it. I will act like I've never heard of any Sky Energy token. David chose to obey the command to respect Topkill Shaw, leaving it here where the dragon skeleton would turn into dust and it would remain for eternity. Then, David let out a long sigh of relief and his body and mind relaxed quite a bit. He raised his head and looked at the space where millions of rocks were floating. His gaze swept to the circular arch that was like a door to time and space. I'll definitely break it. David sat cross-legged on the ground again and entered a state of cultivation. In the blink of an eye, more than ten days passed. David could not remember how many times he had awakened from his cultivation. Within the five saint ceiling arts, the spirit energy was so thin that it was practically nil, and David used up millions of high-grade elemental crystal stones. In this kind of situation where there was no supply of spirit energy, David's cultivation did not increase in the slightest during these ten days. The situation was much more serious than he had expected. He felt weak and helpless. Could it be that he was really unable to exit the sealed door? Would he be reduced to nothing more than a skeleton on the ground? David pondered for a long time. Then he clenched his fists before slowly releasing them, and his deep eyes became determined. You know the way to open the Sky Energy token, right? His voice wasn't loud. However, as it reverberated throughout the ancient plaza, it was incredibly heavy. Sparrow was silent for a long time before he slowly said, You've decided? You think there's another way? David asked. In this environment where there was little spirit energy and one's cultivation could not be raised, the strength of Holy Winged Heavenly Fired Sparrow was being suppressed to the maximum. A series of factors couldn't help but cause David to change his mind. Rather than burying them here and becoming dust, it was better to control the Sky Energy Token and break a path to survival. Let's think about it for a few more days. Once it is activated, it will be hard to turn back, Sparrow said cautiously. David's heart became resolute, and he shook his head. The longer I wait, the more confused I am. Didn't you say that before? The power of the evil god rippled through slaughter and was born from annihilation. If I don't continue to use this power in the future, it won't increase the power of the devils. In theory, that's the case, 
However, it's not easy to achieve that. Can my holy body of demon eye suppress the power of the evil god? David asked. If you can reach the level of nine stars, yes. Nine stars, huh? David's eyes burned with longing. Right now, it was only four stars away, but the distance to the nine stars seemed really far. However, Sparrow wanted to say something, but hesitated. But what? The power of the evil god also increases gradually, and your strength of demonic eye is the same. If every time the power of the evil god increases and your holy body of demon eye happens to complete its evolution and level up, you might be able to surpass the other party by a level. David smiled. Looks like I have a chance of becoming the first one to suppress the sky energy token. The holy body of demon eye gave David a lot of confidence. If the power of his bloodline could really suppress the power of the evil god, then the arrival of the sky energy token might not be a bad thing. Then, David got up and went back to the back of the dragon skeleton and dug out the metal box again. He sat back in the center of the Tao stage and opened the metal box. The sky energy token gave off a charming aura. The long and narrow corners of its mouth had a curve to them, as if it was mocking David. Evil, and more evil. The corners of David's eyes narrowed, and he said decisively, Let's begin. Are you sure you don't want to reconsider? I'm sure. I'll remind you one last time. Once the Sky Energy token is activated, it will be really hard to turn back. When did you become so long-winded? It's not like you. I just don't want to owe you anything. Is that so? The corners of David's mouth rose slightly as he said with a smile, We're doomed. There's no other way. Let's begin then. As soon as he finished speaking, the demonic strength that originated from Sparrow started to leak out of David's body. In an instant, the sand and wind gathered together and dispersed. Streams of bright red light, with David as the center, shot out toward the ground. A blood pattern spread on the ground and formed a triangular pattern. Countless blood traces extended out from the corners, then formed a circular pattern on the outside layer. Ancient inscriptions crisscrossed and changed in an unpredictable and mysterious manner. As if summoned by an ancient priest, the sky energy token in David's palm started to move in a strange rhythm. The facial design on it looked like it was smiling and its smile was as sharp as a scythe in the hands of a death god. Sparrow reminded him again, It's too late to regret it now. It could be seen that Sparrow was indeed reminding him for David's sake. But David had already made up his mind, and there was no need for him to retreat anymore. Just tell me what to do next. Intense energy fluctuations shook the earth. In the ancient plaza, under the dragon's skeleton, whose might still lingered, David stood in a large blood-colored formation with a devilish aura flowing from his entire body. The scarlet light pattern was like a spider web, with a triangle in the middle. All kinds of complicated and mysterious numbers were like dried blood. At this moment, the masked sky energy token slowly rose from David's palm and floated before his eyes. Its alluring facial design seemed to be smiling sinisterly. Following that, with a whoosh, the sky energy token transformed into a ray of light, jumped to the center of David's brows, and instantly burrowed inside. David's entire body trembled, as if the deepest part of his soul had suffered an unprecedented invasion. In an instant, his consciousness seemed to be forcefully dragged away by a huge whirlpool with a current as strong as if it was rapidly spinning in the deep sea. David's consciousness sunk into it, like he had fallen into an endless abyss and would never recover. Icy, cold. It filled him with fear all the way to his bone marrow. Ghosts wailed and demons laughed. Various strange sounds that would make people's scalps go numb filled David's ears. In the dark abyss, pair after pair of sinister red eyes appeared. 
In the dreamlike and illusory alternate dimension, David persevered onward, unaffected by anything. A strong current of air passed him, and a dense red light surged toward him. As if passing through a violent tsunami, David's mind trembled, and he instantly stopped. A bloody wind, a bloody rain, and a gloomy sky were his surroundings. Appearing in front of David was a blood-red world. It had a mountain of bones and a river of blood. A blood-red moon was faintly discernible behind the dark clouds. This was a terrifying space. White bones covered the ground beneath David's feet, and in front of the bones was an open-air great hall. It had black crystal flooring, ancient brick walls, and two rows of stone pillars carved with the patterns of exorcisms. And at the top of the great hall, on a large stone throne, a gigantic figure was sitting there, leaning to the side with one hand resting on his chin as if he was sleeping. His other arm was placed on the seat, and that hand was holding an incomparably sharp four-leaf sickle that was soaked in blood and emitted an endless aura of death. The figure's appearance was similar to a human, but his face was especially sinister. His long white hair draped over the five statues of the five saint ceiling arts, making him look like a witch. Was this the evil god? Even though David thought he was prepared in his heart, when he stood in front of the evil god, he still felt a kind of unspeakable bleakness. It was as if all living things in the world, the billions of living creatures, were insignificant ants in front of the evil god. David thought of the saying, When the evil god arrives, blood will flow like rivers. Then, David slowly stepped onto the path that was made of bones. The bones beneath his feet emitted cracking sounds, and the closer he got to the front, the more David could feel an enormous pressure that came from the ancient god and devil. Just then, the evil god abruptly opened his eyes. It was a pair of eyes that did not have any whites. In that moment, David felt as if he had fallen into an ice cave. His heart trembled, as though his soul was being threatened by a death aura. Just the pair of eyes was enough to send a signal of death. Even so, David did not stop his footsteps. He walked on the path of white bones as though he was treading on thin ice before stepping onto the black crystal bricks of the palace. I need your strength. David's eyes shone with determination. A playful smile rose on the evil god's face. His sinister face and the smile of a demon made David shudder. No one knew what that smile meant. Perhaps it was mocking this weak human stupidity, or perhaps it was feeling proud that someone else would become his slave. Then, the evil god slowly raised the four-leaf sickle in his hand. The gigantic blood-colored sickle was dazzling. The raised sickle moved in front of David and lightly knocked on the ground three times. A heavy laughter reverberated <laughs> in the air, containing a soul-shaking magic. Immediately after, a square stone table rose up in front of David. On the surface of the stone table was a picture of a demonic face. The pattern of the long, narrow eyes was exactly the same as the one on the sky energy token. David walked to the side of the stone table with a profound gaze, raised his right hand, and extended his index finger. With a whoosh, a sharp streak of red light cut across the air and instantly sliced David's index finger. Accompanied by a sharp pain, a drop of red blood dripped down, landing on the evil-looking face on the stone table. With blood as an offering, the power of the evil god was bought. A bizarre scene occurred. The fresh blood that dripped onto the stone table flowed out following the patterns on it and filling them up. In the next moment, the design of the demonic face turned crimson. The entire universe was in turmoil as thunderous booms rang out. A bloody wind blew and a rain of blood sprinkled onto the ground. David was inside the howling wind that carried an incomparably terrifying pressure. Immediately after, the evil god extended his sharp, gigantic hand, lifting David up. The sky lost its color, 
and endless waves of red light surged toward David from all directions. In my name, the power of the heavens. The heavy and imposing aura shot directly into the depths of his soul. David's pupils rapidly shrank as they were instantly submerged within the overflowing blood-red light. The air by the dragon skeleton in the ancient plaza was filled with a biting, cold, murderous aura. The body of David, who had been silent for an unknown period of time, became like a dam that burst open, and an astonishing and boundless force erupted from him. As he opened his eyes, a strange, blood-like glint flashed across them. When the ice-cold, cruel energy was released, it was as if a raging, vicious beast existed inside David's body. He was about to wake up and break free from his shackles. He was at the ninth level of the Earth Profound stage. In the next second, the ruthless and baleful aura David released was quickly suppressed. His blood-red eyes became clear and bright, and at the same time, his face revealed a surprised smile. The power of the evil god is indeed strong. In just a short span of one breath's time, I have risen two steps. One breath? Holy winged heavenly fired sparrow was stunned. Then he replied with a little laughter, It's already been over a month. What? More than a month? David could not help but be startled and he discovered that the items he had placed in front of him had a layer of dust. Clearly, a long time had passed. However, when he had entered that alternate dimension, he had no idea because the mysteries had passed in the blink of an eye. How are you feeling? Sparrow hurriedly asked. There was a hint of urgency in his voice. David pondered for a moment, then carefully examined every part of his body. He shook his head and said, Very good. There doesn't seem to be any special feeling. Really? Sparrow evidently did not believe it. He knew more clearly than David what a sky energy token was, so the power bestowed to David by the evil god was not something that could be given for nothing. David composed himself once again and said, There really aren't any abnormal changes. It should have probably been suppressed by my holy body of demon eye. Hearing the affirmation from David twice, Sparrow heaved a sigh of relief. Even though you did not feel anything unusual, I still suggest you stop using that power after today. I know. David laughed with relief, then stood up and brushed off the dust on his body, his star-like bright gaze shooting toward the circular arch in the sky. I'll break it open. With that, David stepped into the air and transformed into a ray of light as he leaped into the sky. A soft moan sounded as the blue rain sword with a twinkling blue pattern appeared in his hand. Don't you want to take the pill of rebirth? Sparrow asked in surprise. David shook his head. I want to give it a try first. If it's not possible, then we can use it later. Are you so confident? David laughed. We need to save as much as we can. An astonishing sword force surged out from David's body. His eyes narrowed and dense evil energy erupted out. Circles of red light quickly wrapped around the blue rain sword, forming many flowing waves. At the same time, the strength of demonic eye and strength of chaos were released. Black and purple pillars of light intersected and like two giant pythons, they coiled around the blue rain sword. As the three different colors gathered on it, the blue rain sword released its divine might. Kill! With his loud shout, David's eyes turned cold. The blue rain sword in his hand soared into the sky like a divine rainbow, tearing through the air and transforming into a shocking giant sword that solidly smashed into the circular arch's curtain. Earth-shattering stars flew out. The arch swung about uneasily, and circles of beautiful light patterns swept apart along the layer of the light curtain. With a crinkling sound, a small crack appeared. It was like a frozen lake. In the blink of an eye, countless dense cracks covered the entire light curtain. The curtain shattered, and the restrictive door that had sealed the area for countless years was broken. As if they had lost all gravity, the countless rocks floating in the air all began to fall. 
In that moment, the earth crumbled, and the stone pillars on the ancient plaza all crumbled, revealing huge holes on the ground. David had reached the ninth level of the Earth Profound stage. The combined power of the strength of Demonic Eye, the strength of Chaos, and the power of the evil God was unleashed in an all-out attack that was so powerful it seemed to pierce through heaven and earth. In an instant, the countless rocks that were floating in the air fell like meteorites from the sky toward the plaza below. The dragon's burial ground was in turmoil. Huge craters appeared in the ancient plaza from the explosions. The Dow pillars fell to the ground and shattered into pieces. The entire space was reduced to a state of complete collapse. At the top of the arch, there was a place that glistened with the splendor of a golden light. David's eyes flashed with excitement. I finally broke this level. He wanted to fly up and leave this place. But at this moment... Holy winged heavenly fired sparrow said, Wait a minute, there's one thing I haven't done yet. What? David was startled, and his face revealed confusion. Take it with you. It? David looked toward the gigantic dragon skeleton in the middle of the ancient plaza that was about to be reduced to ruins. This is a complete dragon skeleton. Don't you dare use it against me. Hearing Sparrow's words, David immediately understood. As an ancient god-beast race, even a single tooth from a true dragon was considered a precious treasure that would cause the people of the world to fight over it, let alone a complete skeleton. But this is too big. What do you want me to use to store it? The Ocean Recovery Universe technique? What else? You... David was suddenly speechless. Are you sure you won't force my purple house of true essence to explode? Where did all this nonsense come from? If we don't hurry up, this place will collapse, Sparrow urged. David shook his head helplessly, but he gritted his teeth and transformed into a streak of light, shot downward and stopped in the air above the dragon skeleton. There, he swiftly activated the heavenly seal technique. The strong flow of air gathered. The Purple House of True Essence expanded, and David's energy center released an energy whirlpool that was rotating rapidly. The True Essence flowing within the swirl and the flickering light pattern looked like a strange passage. Along with the rhythmic movement of the unsettled space, one could see a layer of light that was as thin as a veil floating around the entire body of the dragon skeleton. The vigorous and surging true elemental strength poured unceasingly into the furnace. David's eyes narrowed, both his palms extended outward, and he slowly raised them up. Withdraw. The plaza shook, and the rocks crumbled. With a speed that could be seen with the naked eye, the dragon skeleton lifted off the ground and rose into the air. The ocean recover universe technique that Sparrow had taught David allowed his purple house of true essence to contain all living things in this small world. A normal person's purple house of true essence could contain only energy and spirit energy that was not in its physical form. Moreover, the Ocean Recover Universe technique was different. As long as there was a genius's land treasure with spirit energy, the sane artifact spirit could hide within it. In fact, many of the experts at the level of Holy Winged Heavenly Fired Sparrow would choose to use their own Purple House of True Essence to open an independent space that could hold millions of powers. David had yet to reach that level. His level of cognition that existed was shallower than that. That was why he felt uncomfortable. This Ocean Recover Universe technique could be said to have allowed David to open his own Purple House of True Essence earlier than usual. From previous incidents, David had already kept the Immortal Maternal Spirit Ink Stone, Field Blade, Divine Dragonback Spear, and two pieces of the Divine Stone of the Great Dao fragments. He was still worried about whether he could accommodate this dragon skeleton. But quickly, David realized that his worries were unnecessary. 
The dragon skeleton that was enveloped in the true elemental strength was quickly becoming illusory and indistinct, then transforming into a flowing light beam and converged into David's energy center. The moment the dragon skeleton disappeared, David felt that the purple house of true essence in his body was trembling and shaking. Combining with the churning of his vital energy and blood, he felt that something was wrong, as though he was carrying a heavy burden. Seems a little forced, huh? Sparrow laughed with ill intentions. The corners of David's eyes twitched. You tricked me. Sorry, sorry, I really didn't know that your Earth Profound Stage level had only this little bit of space. When you reach the Heaven Profound Stage level, you can hold ten times the current capacity. Until then, I'll help you out a little. Following that, a trickle of spirit energy flowed into David's eight extraordinary meridians and rushed into his Purple House of True Essence. As if in a warm spiritual spring, the discomfort on David's body was alleviated. The invisible heavy burden left his body, and his limbs became relaxed and agile once again. David wiped off his cold sweat. Just now, he had almost felt that his purple house of true essence was about to collapse like this dragon's burial ground. Sorry to scare you. Sparrow's tone was filled with an uncontrollable laughter. You damn bird, David cursed. He stood silently as he looked at the open ground where rocks were rolling. The dragon skeleton was nowhere to be seen. There was only an incomparably deep moat. Following that, David moved back, directly turning into a gorgeous flowing shadow and soaring into the sky, smashing apart the layers of rubble as he leaped into the passage. The earth quaked and the mountain shook. The ancient altar at the center of the giant valley was like a volcano that had erupted. From within, it split open and exploded, causing rubble to fly everywhere. A majestic wave of air covered the sky and swept in all directions. David broke free from the restrictions of the seal and flew up into the sky. He was finally out. The air outside was soothing. In the blink of an eye, the pressure that had been accumulating for the past dozens of days was completely released. David couldn't help but exclaim loudly in excitement. The feeling of being trapped inside was too depressing. Even a big battle would be more satisfying than being trapped there. You don't feel good about leaving the seal, do you? Sparrow said with a hint of deep meaning. Indeed. David nodded his head in affirmation. Especially facing certain death within the seal, it was enough to wipe out the heart of any strong person. I finally understand why, back at the Myriad Beast Ridge, you charged toward that level of seal at all costs. Sparrow seemed to be laughing, but at the same time, he seemed to be sighing. After a moment of hesitation, David asked, Why were you there? As his gaze swept across the area in front of him, he saw the entire altar was gone without a trace, and a huge hole had opened up in the middle. As for the five demonic ghost stones, they still stood tall and imposing, and the only difference was that their bodies were covered with cracks. You want to know why? Sparrow asked. David laughed. If you want to say something, I will listen. That's because... He paused, then said... That little girlfriend of yours has come. <clears throat> David was startled at first, but then a familiar aura rushed over. Turning his body, even though Michelle was still a couple kilometers away and he could only see her blurry figure, David was still able to determine with a glance that she was definitely Michelle. He felt surprise, astonishment, and disbelief. As he stared at the increasingly clear and beautiful face, his eyes were clear as water and filled with worry. But in an instant, all of David's surprise turned into gratitude. In the end, Michelle had still found this place. David's figure moved, like Michelle rushing toward him, and the difference between the two of them was reduced to zero in the blink of an eye. David held the elegant and refined figure in his arms. 
Michelle threw herself into the crook of his arm, and only at this moment did her heart finally relax. I knew you'd be fine. Her gentle voice was like the clear water of a mountain stream, affecting David's heartstrings. David hugged her and whispered into her ear, Sorry for making you worry. A whole forty-odd days had passed with no news of David at all. Hearing David's apologetic, comforting words, her eyes slightly watered, and then she gently pushed him away, asking, Where did you go? David shook his head and looked back at the five ancient demonic ghost statues. I was trapped within the five saint ceiling arts. Michelle didn't really understand much about this ceiling arts, so she asked in concern, Are you injured? David revealed a gentle smile and extended his hand to help arrange the strands of hair in her ear that were blown around by the wind. I'm fine. Michelle looked serious. In the future, you are not allowed to take on all the dangers by yourself, and even more so, you are not allowed to abandon me. Michelle's clear eyes were beautiful enough to topple nations. David continued to smile. No matter what, as long as he looked at Michelle... His heart was warmed. How are the others? They're all right. I waited until everyone was safe before coming back to find you, Michelle replied. Hearing that everyone was safe, David finally let go of the burden in his heart. To be able to escape such a dangerous situation, David now felt that the risk he had taken was worth it. Where are they now? I'm not too sure about the specifics either. That day, after we escaped the pursuit of the Thunder Saint Palace, we met someone from Heavenly Bamboo Peak. Heavenly Bamboo Peak? David was slightly surprised. Is it the team that Lynette is leading? Yes, Michelle affirmed. Then Lynette seems to have a good relationship with your senior sister Lindsay, as he took the initiative to help you treat your injuries. David nodded. Who would have thought that after they parted at the Immortal Sight platform, they would meet Lynette and her group again? In that case, they should be safe. With the unexpected presence of the little monkey, there would probably be no more problems. Let's go, David said. Let's see if we can reunite with everyone. If not, then just the two of us will go into our own world. Michelle's cheeks flushed red and her beautiful eyes raised slightly. Humph, the two of us in our own world. How shameless. What is it? Wife, are you shy? No. Michelle shook her head and smiled. Following that, she looked like she thought of something and said, I think I will bring you to a place first. Oh? Where? I don't know what kind of place it is, but it's pretty weird. It wasn't Michelle's first day here. She had already been here for many days. To search for traces of David, she had gone in almost every single corner of this ancient ruin, and the place she mentioned was precisely the place she had accidentally discovered while she was looking for David. Seeing Michelle's suspicious look, David could not help but feel a bit of interest. Then let's go take a look. Let's go. Michelle held David's arm, and the two of them returned to the ground and started talking as they walked. How did you get that little monkey? It was a scam. You were deceived? That's right. It's about the same as when I tricked you. Nonsense. Tell me the truth. David laughed. Actually, I was also confused at the time. That little guy accidentally ate the myriad beast fruit I sprinkled on the ground and signed the summoning contract with me. I rejected it at the time. I never thought that the little guy was actually a heavenly beast. So that's how it happened. Michelle raised an eyebrow. Now tell me how you tricked me back then. Do you really want me to say it? Of course. All right. You were even stupider than that little monkey. I don't even have a myriad beast fruit but I've caught you. He smiled. Don't come after me and kill your own husband. Light laughter and sounds of a chase reverberated near the mountain stream. One chased after the other, 
and a rare feeling of relief and joy floated above the Iron Gate Heavenly Bridge. In a world like the remote antiquity heavenly domain where the situation was tense, it was an extremely warm and gentle place for David. They passed through the gate and into the ancient castle of Baron City. The ancient staircase leading to the heavens was shrouded in clouds and mist, dominating the five mountains. Under Michelle's lead, David arrived at the dreamy cloud Great Swampland. The smoke was ethereal, and dense spiritual energy rose up like a beautiful painting. It was as if the beautiful world outside was in danger. That strange place is over there. Michelle pointed toward a certain pond. The water in the middle of the pond was quite dark, as if there was a cave at the bottom. However, it didn't seem too unusual. Just at this moment, David was surprised to discover there was a bright arc of light that flashed in the middle of the water. It was fleeting. Huh? David looked surprised. Go down and take a look, Michelle said. David nodded his head and immediately flew down with her, landing at the edge of the pond. Once he landed, something unexpected happened again. It was just a moment ago that this vast expanse of the dreamy cloud swampland was a flat plain. However, in the blink of an eye, it had turned into a mountain range. In front of him, there were lofty mountains and ridges. There were even cliffs on the left and right. The pool in front of them had become much deeper. Isn't that strange? Michelle said. David thoughtfully nodded his head. Have you looked around before? Michelle nodded. There's a door at the bottom of the water. A door? David was startled. A door that was built under the water? Who would do that? But David remembered that this was the remote antiquity heavenly domain. Even if there was a door at the bottom of the water, and even if the door was completely filled with water, there was nothing strange about it. Since he was already here, he might as well check it out. Demon Eye In an instant, David's eyes turned a bewitching purple color, and Michelle, who was to his side, had a hint of surprise flash across her eyes. Very few people knew the secret of David, and Michelle was one of them. Immediately after, David's eyes that were like the eyes of a demon god probed toward the bottom of the pool. The space around him started to vibrate restlessly. David's vision seemed to go back to the vast starry sky as the images overlapped each other and then went straight to the bottom of the pool. Following that, David's pupils contracted. The two sets of eyes merged together and the rotten door that was buried deep in the mud appeared in front of him. The images in the deep lake overlapped each other, causing space to move rhythmically, as though they were traveling through thousands of light years in a time and space tunnel. David's strength of demonic eye reached the bottom of the deep lake in an instant. It was a pair of pillars that looked like long sleeves that were buried deep in the mud. The gate was tightly shut and faced upward from the bottom of the deep pool. The two knobs in the middle of the gate were rusty, they were filled with green-brown sediments and gave off an ancient and unadorned feeling. Of course, since the remote antiquity heavenly domain had existed for thousands of years, or even longer, a large portion of things would give the feeling of a long-time aura. David withdrew his strength of demonic eye, and his purple eyes turned bright black. He asked Michelle with a smile, "'How did you find this place?' Michelle raised her delicate eyebrows and said with a hint of playfulness, I was afraid someone might hide somewhere too secretively, so I didn't let any corners go unsearched. Oh, have you searched every nook and cranny of this place? David was slightly surprised. What do you think? Then how can you be sure I'm nearby and not going anywhere else? I feel you, Michelle replied. David could not help but laugh out loud. Seeing the graceful smile and her clear eyes, her heart could not help but move. So he wrapped an arm around Michelle's waist and pressed his lips onto Michelle's delicate lips. 
She was warm and seemed to have a trace of a sweet taste that made his heart palpitate. Michelle was a little caught off guard, but stayed in David's embrace like a tame kitten. The clear water reflected their warmth. Michelle's fair and slender fingers gently held David's face, and she said, Don't make it so I can't find you in the future. The corners of David's mouth raised as he replied with a smile, All right. It's a deal? It's a deal. Returning to the topic at hand, David pointed at the bottom of the deep pool and said, Michelle, did you investigate it when you went down there before? Yes. Michelle nodded her head, but looked confused. I tried many different methods, but none of them were able to open the gate. Even when I used all my strength, I could not open it. David couldn't help but narrow his eyes. He knew Michelle's cultivation. Her nine netherworld holy body was so powerful, but it had not yielded any rewards. If one were to try to say that the two doors below were ordinary things, no one would be willing to believe it. I'll go down and take a look. David was curious. Michelle grabbed his palm. I'll go with you. Seeing the firm look in her eyes, David's heart was moved, and he only smiled and nodded in agreement. The two of them jumped into the deep pond below. The protective layer formed by the true elemental strength isolated them from the cold water, and it was negligible how much pressure was being emitted underwater. With their current cultivation, there wouldn't be much difference between where they were and on land. The space below the deep pool was even wider. It was similar to an inverted funnel. The top was narrow and the bottom was wide. There were a lot of rocks below and the surrounding walls were also a solid layer. Since Michelle had already been here and with the help of the demon eye, the two of them did not pay much attention to anything else and dove straight to the bottom of the pool and the two iron gates over 500 meters deep. In a few minutes, the iron gate appeared beneath David. Its two metal doors were deeply embedded in the mud, making it impossible to determine their full size. What was certain was that both were over 30 meters wide. However, David was suspicious of whether there was another world behind this door. The remote antiquity heavenly domain was a strange place. There were unexpected factors and many small things that may seem casual. Just like before, David would never have thought that when he used the teleportation jade, he would be somehow dragged into the ceiling arts. Can't brute force open it, David said. Michelle shook her head, her beautiful eyes filled with bewilderment. I'll try. David released her hand and motioned for her to move back a little. Following that, the true elemental strength in his body started to circulate rapidly. The imposing aura of the ninth level Earth Profound Stage caused the water to tremble, and with the force of a dive, a fist smashed down. The attack covered with boundless energy smashed into the gap between the gate's two iron doors. The oppressive explosive sound rang out, and wherever David's fist landed, the undercurrents would form a violent wave that ruthlessly smashed into the surrounding stone walls. Although David's punch had the power to shake mountains and rivers, the iron gate beneath him did not budge an inch. It was as though it had been firmly stuck in the ground. The surrounding walls had all been shattered, and it was still as hard as a rock. It's stronger than the seal from the five saints ceiling arts? David was startled and turned back to look at Michelle behind him. The corners of Michelle's mouth raised upward, revealing a cute smile as she gave him an, I knew it would end like this. Look. David found it funny that the young miss was waiting for him to make a fool of himself. However, it was not easy for David to give up. He summoned his blue rain sword and pierced the gap between the two iron doors with the sword tip. He wanted to see if he could pry open the lock from the inside. However, the blue rain sword could pierce it by only about an inch. The edge of the sword had only scraped off a thick layer of rock and sludge without making any other progress. This was awkward. 
He couldn't open it? David frowned, his gaze sweeping up and down the gate, when a thought flashed through his mind. He brandished his blue rain sword and released wave after wave of sword energy. Sword shines flew like shuttles close to the surface of the gate and swept around. In minutes, the thick layer of sediments covering the gate was scraped off with great ease. The layers of mud and rocks were swept away. The rust was gone. Two simple black doors appeared. The beautiful eyes of Michelle, who was behind him, slightly lifted in surprise. She saw that on top of the black door there was a series of complicated and unique patterns. There is indeed a problem. David was secretly delighted as he began to carefully search the numerous inscription numbers on the door. But then, David realized he couldn't read the runes on it. What's wrong? What's written on it? Michelle asked, her eyes still big and curious. This. He had miscalculated. David sighed helplessly. They were ancient, runic, secret talismans of a higher level, and he was helpless to decipher them. Then, David pointed to one of the runes and said, This seems to be the lightning rune. Lightning? Michelle asked. It was like a beam of light flashing through the night sky as an idea surfaced in David's mind. He said, Could it be that this door requires the strength of thunder and lightning to be open? In the boundless universe, the range of the rune arts was wide. There was no lack of occult arts that required special types of power to activate. Move back a little. Michelle nodded her head obediently. Although she did not know what David had discovered, her eyes were filled with anticipation. In the next moment, dense black lightning blossomed out from David's body. The wild momentum was like the high-pitched cries of thousands of thunderbirds. The biting cold lightning gathered at the center of his palm. David's eyes narrowed as he extended a hand, and in that moment, a gigantic black lightning pillar shot out and struck the two doors. The crisscrossing of lightning and thunder pierced the ears. The condensed lightning was like a mass of black flames that had blossomed. Surprisingly, something happened. The two iron doors that had never reacted before released waves of uneasy shaking. The many patterns engraved on their surface were instantly lit up. They rotated like flowing light, shining brightly and beautifully. He had succeeded. David was overjoyed. Michelle chuckled. She was happy and clapped her hands and said, Amazing! Soon after, the entire area began to sink into an extremely dark turmoil. The surrounding stone walls split apart layer by layer, as if by an impact from the undercurrent in the deep sea. The Iron Gate was dazzling and magnificent. Under David's surprised gaze, the two iron doors slowly opened from the middle, revealing a passageway that had been sealed for countless years. A desolate and mysterious aura surged upward. The water churned, and the turbulence raged. David returned to Michelle's side and firmly grasped her hand. In the next moment, a bright moonlight burst out from the back of the doorway. The dazzling, divine, multicolored light covered the two of them. It was noisy and chaotic to his ears. He felt as if he had been drawn into an endless vortex. All sorts of chaotic energy swam around, but David still held on to Michelle's hand, which made her feel at ease. The world spun until it felt like the world flipped upside down. It was as if they had crossed the vast universe in an instant. After an unknown period of time, a gorgeous white light flashed before David's eyes. In the next second, the two of them steadied their bodies. A feeling as if it was from another world enveloped his heart, and then David was stunned by the scene in front of him. The underwater world lost its color, and the water's tribulation surged. What appeared in front of them was a world of thunder and lightning. Within the doorway, the sky was shrouded in a dark and majestic storm of nebula vortex that touched the earth, shaking the realm. 
Tens of thousands of lightning tribulations enveloped the horizon, strong enough to cause people to tremble in fear. This was a world of thunder and lightning. From all directions, in the mountains, rivers, and lands, incomparably violent thundershine and lightning columns were everywhere. David felt he was under the might of the heavens, under the divine punishment of the heavenly tribulation. Could this place be the assassination cloud's realm? Michelle softly asked. The assassination cloud's realm. David's heart could not help but tremble. This was the second time he had heard these words. The first time was when he was at the Great Dow Cliff and heard it from Gage. You know about the assassination cloud's realm? David asked in surprise. Michelle lowered her head and replied, When I came to the remote antiquity heavenly domain to find you, I passed many places and once passed an ancient city where many sects gathered. I unintentionally heard them discuss the area called Assassination Clouds Realm. Oh, what other information do you have? The Assassination Clouds Realm is an extremely dangerous, forbidden land of death within the remote antiquity heavenly domain. Those who are not strong enough can be exterminated as soon as they enter, and this area is filled with extremely powerful lightning energy. It can be called the Death Thunder Domains. Michelle continued. There's no doubt that the Assassination Clouds Realm is a forbidden ground for death, but there's a type of heart of profound divine thunder that countless people are obsessed with and desire that is concealed within. When he heard the last few words, David's mind couldn't help but tremble. The words, heart of profound divine thunder, seemed to possess some sort of enchanting power that caused one's heart to palpitate. Anyone would feel a sense of curiosity and interest toward it. David looked around and noticed that the two of them were currently on a square rooftop called Soaring Cloud Sky Platform. In the other areas around them, there were also many other majestic platforms standing high in the sky. The rooftops were large and small, and buildings tall and short, but without exception, they were all suspended in the clouds. There seemed to be a luxurious palace in the distance. It was like an immortal palace, a place called the Nine Heavens Pavilion. It was simply too beautiful to behold. White clouds surrounded every rooftop. Through the clouds, one could faintly see the mountain ranges and rivers. The land was as its name implied. This was indeed a forbidden zone of death, located in the skies above the cloud. One after another, peerless and majestic floating platforms appeared in the vast clouds, under the countless thunder tribulations. David's gaze turned cold as he shook his head and exclaimed, I never thought that behind the metal gate of the pond would be a passageway that directly leads to the assassination clouds realm. What should we do next? Michelle asked softly. Since we are here, let's take a look around first. David looked around and chose a direction. He pulled Michelle's hand and flew off, heading toward a soaring sky platform. Once the two of them left their platform, the thunderclouds in the sky let out an even more terrifying force. It was as if there was an endless amount of ferocious, vicious beasts hidden within the waves. Seeing how bad the situation was, David was startled, and he anxiously pulled Michelle and rushed forward at the fastest speed possible. In the next instant, a scarlet bolt of lightning over a hundred meters in length descended from the sky, landing right on the spot where the two had been just a second ago. Such shocking destructive power David was secretly fearful. This kind of strength was enough to let a middle-level Earth Profound Stage expert turn into dust in an instant. Even if he himself was stuck, he would definitely not feel good. Be careful, another is coming. Michelle quickly warned him. David frowned. He had not calmed down yet. Another lightning pillar that was around 20 to 30 meters thick descended with a terrifying aura of destruction to the sky platform. Without the slightest hesitation, David swiftly brought Michelle to the closest one. The thunder rumbled, shook the area. When the two of them stepped onto the rooftop, 
The chaotic tribulation of the clouds in the sky stopped their display of power. Moving around would be a little troublesome. It was equivalent to being trapped on the heaven's altar. Whenever they left, they would attract the attention of thunder and lightning. Fortunately for them, the distances between the roof platforms were not far, and there was not the tricky scene of him being unable to move an inch and having no help. This place is scary. No wonder there's no one around. David laughed as he looked at Michelle beside him. His eyes flashed with a hint of gentleness. Are you afraid, wife? Michelle's eyes were clear, and she was smiling broadly. As long as you were here, there's nothing to be afraid of. I understand. Since that's the case, let's charge through this assassination cloud's realm. Grab my hand tightly. Let's go. Immediately, the two of them left the rooftop and headed toward another heaven's altar in the sky. Now, even though he was facing those millions of thunderclouds, David felt at ease. They allowed the thunderbolts that shook the sky to pass through as David and Michelle moved nimbly. While dodging the thunderbolt attacks, they stepped on one heaven-soaring platform after another. Because they didn't know the distribution of the Death Thunder Dominion's terrain, the two of them were moving aimlessly. After approximately half an hour, a beautiful cloud of holy light passed through the heavy thunderclouds and moved over them. When David and Michelle, who had landed on the soaring cloud sky platform, looked over, they could not help but be stunned by the scene before them. Before the two of them, there was a resplendent star glowing with holy light. However, it wasn't a star but more like an incomparably large crystal ball. In the area below, the eight rooftop platforms formed a circle, as if they were holding the huge crystal ball up to the sky like stars surrounding the moon. Above them gathered a gigantic nebula vortex, stirring up everything around. The wind howled, and lightning flashed through the clouds one after another. This was definitely an unparalleled scene for David. Separated by a thousand meters, he felt as if he was standing in front of a star. Adding to this spectacle, it was under the clouds of thunder and could be called a visual feast. The gigantic crystal ball was like a divine object placed in the center by a god. The space around the crystal ball was filled with black cracks and vortexes. That's the devouring cave, David realized. The corner of David's eyes slightly narrowed, and he frowned. A devouring cave was also known as a space worm cave. When the strength of the force reached a certain level, it would cause the space to crack due to being unable to withstand the impact. The devouring cave was formed from the persistence of the spatial cracks. Once a person fell into the devouring cave, they would most likely die. The turbulent space inside could tear an entire body into pieces in an instant. However, there were different types of devouring caves. There was another type that was used to connect to a passageway between two different levels of space when there was a huge difference between the two realms. However, no matter what kind of devouring cave it was, people would always avoid one, afraid that it was dangerous. When David was at the Immortal Sight platform, he had followed the Zephyr through the four heaven-killing formation to search for the Immortal Talisman spiritual tree, and he had seen a devouring cave before. However, compared to the devouring cave in the area ahead, this was just a small matter. In the area below the giant crystal ball, the central area surrounded by the eight soaring cloud sky platforms, the devouring cave was like the deep abyss entrance of an ancient vicious devil. The sight of it sent chills down David's spine. It was hard to imagine how the assassination clouds realm could form such a terrifying zone after thousands of years of existence. The giant crystal ball that was as big as a star was emitting waves of tremors. At this moment, the thunder pattern in the crystal ball flickered. In the center of the ball, a bizarre blue thundercloud floated. Abruptly, David's mind shook violently. In the next moment, his pair of pitch-black eyes flashed with a devilish purple light. 
When he saw the blue lightning cloud, the strength of demonic eye was immediately activated. And right after that, David's purple pupil shrank faintly as well. The space in front of his eyes overlapped each other, as if it had gone back to the infinite universe of stars. Soon after, a pair of ice-cold eyes could be seen within the blue thundercloud. In that instant, the strength of demonic eye in David's body was activated by the external force. The space in front of him overlapped like an illusion, as if he had gone back to scan the infinite space tunnel. The gaze from a pair of ice-cold eyes suddenly shot over from within that blue thundercloud. What is that? Once their gazes met, David's heart violently shook. It was an undisguised provocation, threat. Like a wolf blocking his path in the dark, its eyes were filled with greed. The heart of profound divine thunder! Holy winged heavenly fired sparrow's words resounded in David's ears. He was shocked and astonished. Was the one inside the crystal ball a heart of profound divine thunder? Is this how the heart of profound divine thunder exists? David secretly asked him. It was a pair of eyes that looked like they belonged to a ferocious creature. And the assassination divine thunder, as its name implied, Shouldn't it be some sort of spiritual object formed from strength of thunder and lightning? Sparrow said, You know too little about the top things in this world. Then Sparrow explained in detail, Any treasure that has been brewing for more than a few thousand years is bestowed with many unique abilities by the heavens and has a spirit of its own. Furthermore, the treasure will choose its own master or can change many times. This heart of profound divine thunder is a supreme divine object in the world, and it already possesses the basic level of intelligence. After listening to Sparrow's explanation, David was shocked. A superior divine object that possessed intelligence? Just what kind of existence would be able to make people yearn for it? Beside him, Michelle saw David's strange expression and could not help but ask, What's the matter with you? David smiled slightly, then withdrew his strength of demonic eye and looked back at her beautiful face. What's inside is the heart of profound divine thunder. The heart of profound divine thunder? Filled with surprise, Michelle raised her eyebrows and her mouth slightly opened. The divine object that everyone wanted to get their hands on was actually placed in front of the two of them right now? Wasn't this too much of a coincidence? She did not expect that the passageway at the bottom of the deep pool would actually bring them directly to where the heart of profound divine thunder was. It was a rare opportunity, but one that made her even more cautious. It seems like we were one step ahead of the others, David secretly communicated with Sparrow. What is it? You have some ideas? Holy winged heavenly fired Sparrow laughed with interest. The conditions for its birth were extremely harsh. Even though the Thunder Dominion was dead, it had experienced thousands or even more years before it was able to produce a heart of divine thunder. It would definitely be a lie to say that David was not moved by what he saw. But then again, no matter who wanted to get their hands on it, they would have to consider their own abilities. Looking at the chaotic space around the gigantic crystal ball and the devouring cave below, David was fearful. Although those devouring caves were formed due to the strength of thunder and lightning that had gathered here for thousands of years, and their relationship with the heart of profound divine thunder itself was not that great, the psychological pressure they produced could not be ignored. Of course, David was also clear that as long as he kept a certain distance from the devouring cave, it was safer. Therefore, he was only somewhat hesitant. Michelle could naturally see through David's thoughts. Her soft hand wrapped around his, and her soft words were like a gentle wind. With the strength of the two of us, we should be able to take it down. Hmm? David was startled. He had thought she would persuade him not to take the risk, 
but he did not expect her to say those words. But Michelle's words were touching. She understood David's heart well and knew what the man beside her was thinking. As someone with a pure heart, she would rather risk her life to help David accomplish his difficult goal than to see the man she cared about leave behind any regrets. David smiled gently as his fingertip gently caressed her beautiful cheek. You just have to stay here and wait for me. Similarly, David was not willing to let the people he cared about risk their lives for him. That won't do. She shook her head. You promised me that no matter what happens in the future, you won't abandon me. Michelle powdered her lips, looking completely unreasonable. David laughed again. Then with a serious look in his eyes, he said, Don't worry, I will be back soon, and I still have a secret weapon. Besides, I don't want to see my wife get hurt at all, and you'll distract me. Seeing that he had made such a choice, Michelle knew David would not let her do it no matter what. She replied with a serious face, Then you definitely can't force yourself. You can't force yourself. Yes, ma'am. David immediately saluted as he received the military order. Michelle suddenly laughed, and his heart became more relaxed. I didn't expect you would have such a way with coaxing women, Sparrow sneered in disdain. David raised his eyebrows and then said to Sparrow, After staying in my purple house of true essence for so long, it's time to contribute to me, right? No problem. I will return the favor to you for the five saint sealing arts. Very good. Use your perception to see if there are any more dangers nearby. At this time, other than the difficulty of the divine thunder itself, David was wary of anyone hiding in the dark, waiting for an opportunity to act. I haven't found any strange auras yet, Sparrow answered. However, I'm not sure if there's anyone who is wearing a treasure that can eliminate auras from their body. After a moment of hesitation, David's eyes became serious as he turned to Michelle and said, No matter what happens, you can only wait here for me. Got it. Be careful. If he didn't move now, then when? So in an instant, David transformed into a bunch of flowing light and shot out. Following that, the churning thunderclouds above began to roll like a surging tide. In the next second, a terrifying thunderstrike pierced through the sky toward David. David did not even glance at the lightning. His attention was fixated on the enormous crystal ball in front of him. The speed of the lightning was extremely fast, especially with the power of the thunder tribulation that was close to the heart of profound divine thunder. Just as the thunderstrike was about to strike David, Michelle, who was standing on the soaring cloud sky platform, was so shocked that her heart almost jumped out. She yelled, Dodge! There's... Before Michelle could finish her sentence, a low and deep phoenix cry came from David's body, followed by a ray of colorful light that shot out from him. The ray of light turned into a shadow blade and cut the thunderstrike in half. The rain of light and thundershine burst out, and the beautiful sparks flew everywhere. Michelle was both surprised and grateful. Could this be the secret weapon that David talked about? Regardless, as long as he was fine, it was enough. His first counterattack seemed to have triggered the anger of the cloud vortex in the sky. One after another, thunder shines and lightning columns pierced through the sky and descended. The robust lightning was like numerous dragon serpents that swooped down, flickering with incomparably dazzling lights of destruction. Such a terrifying power would probably be enough to make any cultivator under the Heaven Profound stage tremble in fear. However, all those frightening gigantic bolts of lightning were cut off by a multicolored shadow blade when they were less than 20 to 30 meters away from David. David's footsteps were seemingly not affected in the slightest. The distance of over a thousand meters was covered in an instant. The huge crystal ball held by the eight floating platforms was right in front of him. It was luxurious and resplendent, with a holy light shining like the sun or the stars. David nimbly and quickly dodged the devouring cave and spatial cracks in front of him. 
The black cracks flashed with a quick lava flow, giving off a dangerous death aura. As he carefully bypassed the devouring cave, a rich purple glow exploded outward. David's pupils contracted and instantly turned a demonic purple color. The space vibrated as ripples spread out from the surface of the crystal ball. David crashed into it as though he had gone through a thick layer of a water bubble. His momentum was like a shooting arrow entering the inside of the crystal ball. The spacious interior was comparable to a huge battle arena. The lightning outside continued to strike down unceasingly. However, it struck the crystal ball. Countless bolts of lightning covered the surface of the crystal ball. Then they turned into countless icy blue fibers that merged into the blue thundercloud in the center. Sparrow warned, We can't drag this on for too long. The heart of profound divine thunder will devour the strength of thunder and lightning. Its power will become stronger and stronger, and we will also consume more and more energy. Although this crystal ball was able to prevent David from being attacked by the lightning in the sky, this was, after all, the cradle where Heart of Profound Divine Thunder was being bred. I know. David's demonic eyes blossomed with an evil light, and with his fastest speed, he flashed toward the blue lightning cloud. He reached with his hand and grabbed at the inside of the lightning cloud with his true elemental strength covering his fingers. However, at almost the same time, a ferocious monster's roar rushed toward him. In the next moment, the thunder clouds exploded from within, and like a huge spider web that bloomed, streaks of lightning shot out in all directions, attacking David. David was already prepared. He extended his five fingers, and a bunch of biting cold sword energy immediately took shape. One cut off all the lightning that was coming toward him, with a loud thump, the two heavy forces collided. The sword energies and thunder patterns flew together. The blue lightning cloud wantonly exploded. Following that, a wind assaulted him, and a dragon beast covered in flickering blue lightning appeared in front of David. The sword energies that filled the sky flew together, and the blue thunder cloud erupted from the center. Following that, an extremely frenzied wind assaulted David, and a dense and ferocious might suppressed downward as a dragon beast covered in flashing blue thunder and lightning appeared in the sky above David. The entire space within the crystal ball was filled with the furious roars that made one's blood boil. Its body was like that of a bull, its head was like a lion's but with antlers on it, and its four clawed feet stepped on the flame of thunder and clouds. Its pair of golden eyes were staring at David. The heart of profound divine thunder is a thunder dragon? David was startled. No. Holy Wing Heavenly Fired Sparrow immediately denied David's guess and explained. The heart of profound divine thunder does not have a specific form. This is only its external appearance. It can change into any form at will. It's that magical? David felt even more surprised. At the same time, it made him desire the heart of profound divine thunder even more. What surprised David was that the auspicious thunder dragon in front of him also revealed a hint of burning desire in his eyes. That ice-cold look had a hint of human-like greed. This guy wants to swallow me? David was a little confused. To be precise, it wants that strength of dark thunder that exists within your body. Oh? The heart of profound divine thunder is a divine object formed from the concentration of the power of thousands of lightning tribulations. It will continuously consume the power of lightning to strengthen itself, and the strength of dark thunder that you grasp is also one of its foods. Awesome. David shook his head in amazement. No wonder the Heart of Profound Divine Thunder had taken the initiative to provoke him back when he was outside the sect. It turned out that it had the same goal as he did, and was thinking about how to eat David. There's no time to explain much. It's coming. Just as he finished speaking, the Thunder Dragon, which was transformed by the Heart of Profound Divine Thunder, released a burst of overflowing lightning. Lifting its head, 
Countless blue lightning pillars and thundershines shot out. The intertwined lightning bolts were like a huge net, causing the sky to shake and pounce toward David. The sharp strength of thunder and lightning tore through the air, emitting a sharp ear-piercing sound. David's face changed slightly. His palm congealed, and he brandished his field blade. He used his backhand to slash apart the incoming lightning pillar that was flying at him. The scattered thunder shine caused the entire interior of the giant crystal ball to shine with brilliance. Facing the fierce and fearsome thunder dragon, not only did David not choose to evade, he actually went in for the kill. The field blade breathed in and out a condensed silver light and pierced through the huge head of the thunder dragon. The thunder dragon roared as its eyes surged with a human scorn. It swooped down and its claws covered with countless arcs of thundershine swiped at David. A series of lightning arcs streaked through the air in a magnificent manner. The blade light collided with them. It was as if fire and stone had fused together. Thunder rumbled and lightning patterns surged. The terrifying and powerful electric current was like surging waves as it came attacking. One after another, blue electric arcs followed the field blade and struck David's arm. What terrifying electric shocks! The defenses of the true elemental strength were weakened until they could barely defend at all. Don't be careless, Sparrow warned in a low voice. At the same time, the thunder dragon opened its huge mouth that was filled with sharp fangs and sped up toward David, as if it wanted to swallow him up. David's ice-cold purple eyes revealed a cold light as he sternly shouted, You came at the perfect time. With his left hand waving forward, the blue rain sword that was surrounded by the blue light figure was flung out. The blue rain sword dragged out a powerful air wave flying right above the head of the thunder dragon. Just as the huge mouth of the dragon reached him, the air seemed to tremble as the blue rain sword moved and the flying immortal flashed. With a roar, the thunder dragon opened its mouth wider, but David disappeared from his original position. A low growl sounded out, and from the position of the blue rain sword above the thunder dragon, with the movement of the residual shadow, David appeared out of nowhere. Here's a big present for you. With a flip of his body in the air, David aimed at the back of the thunder dragon. Starlight surged on the palm of his left hand, and the violent strength of seven stars seemed to have been brewed into volcanic magma. Star Soul, four critical strikes. Without any hesitation, he struck out with his most violent punch. Four complete star soul beads, as well as three other great astral souls, were gathered on the back of the Thunder Dragon. In a split second, the sky started to tremble as a condensed wave of gorgeous light swept away from David's palm. This strike could shatter mountains and rivers. A bright and beautiful starlight pierced through the Thunder Dragon's back and stomach. If it was a real demonic beast, David's strike would be considered perfect and would be able to kill without any difficulty. However, heart of profound divine thunder beasts were not flesh and blood creatures. The trauma might have affected the dragon, but it had not reached the degree of suppression. The thunder dragon roared toward the sky, the roar resonating with the nebula vortex's lightning tribulation. Bolts of lightning struck the surface of the giant crystal ball. Countless thundershine arcs converged into the inner part of the ball, creating sizzling sounds. Violent and restless blue lightning shot out from the body of the thunder dragon. Thundershines interweaved with each other, forming a three-dimensional spider web. In that moment, it was as if David was trapped inside a beehive formed from thunder and lightning. No matter where he hid, he would not be able to escape the impact of the strength of thunder and lightning. Sparks flew in all directions as the rain of light flew in unison. Even though Sparrow had blocked all the damaging attacks for David with his power, the increasing pain from the electric current entering his body still made David feel extremely uncomfortable. Immediately after, David was moving around randomly in the three-dimensional electric net, and wherever he went, there was a series of star, flower, fire, rain. At 
This time, the Thunder Dragon's entire body was filled with dense blue electric currents, and its body was twisted. The broad and sturdy body elongated, and its sinister-looking head also retracted, transforming into a terrifying giant snake head. The Thunder Dragon disappeared and was replaced by a hundred-meter-long Thunder Snake. Just as the Sparrow had said, the heart of profound divine thunder did not have a fixed form. It could freely shift into various forms. Streams of long, powerful electric arcs spread out from the entire body of the Thunder Snake. It flicked its tongue rapidly and rushed to the front of David, where it coiled up its enormous snake body and trapped David, who was restricted within the lightning web. David felt as if he had fallen into a quagmire. The area below his waist was firmly fixed. The thunder snake towered above, its eyes filled with a murderous light. But just at that moment, countless black streaks of lightning shot out from David's body, spreading out in all directions and climbing onto the thunder snake's body. Sensing the power contained within the black lightning, the thunder snake let out a surprised human-like sound. Without even thinking, however, it continued to absorb and devour the strength of dark thunder. But in the next second, another attack happened. A purple flame erupted like burning a dry prairie, and it instantly spread to the thunder snake, covering its entire body in the blink of an eye. The overbearing flames burned everything, continuously devouring those frenzied dark thunder and lightnings. The corners of David's mouth rose into a cold smile. If it was a pure strength of dark thunder, it would indeed be devoured by the heart of profound divine thunder. But he had imbued the burning silence demonic flame's power into the black lightning. Once the other party started to devour the hidden lightning energy that he had released, the burning silence demonic flame would ignite from within. It was true that the heart of profound divine thunders were strong, but the biggest difference between them and humans was that humans knew how to use their brains and tactics. He had created a demon flame burning dragon. The spectacular scene caused the area to shine brilliantly. It was like a vast scene of burning clouds. The thunder snake that was covered by the purple demonic flames swung its huge body. Then it bent down with its giant mouth open, intending to swallow David whole. But just as it lowered its head, a blue earth-shattering sword shadow pierced through the skies, rushing up and forcefully piercing through the thunder snake's lower jaw, going straight for the top of its head. The sharp sword force broke through and pierced a huge hole through the thunder snake's head. Tens of thousands of lightning bolts exploded, and the giant crystal ball shook as all kinds of dazzling light flashed across the sky. Above the soaring cloud platform that was a thousand meters away from the crystal ball, Michelle's heart was unable to calm down for even a moment. Her gaze never left where David was, and her hands tightly gripped a corner of her skirt, her knuckles turning a little white. If not for the fact that she was afraid that David would be distracted, she would have long ago stepped forward to help him. Being able to successfully subdue the heart of profound divine thunder was not important in her eyes, as long as David was safe and sound. At this moment, on the other side of the remote antiquity heavenly domain, another scene was also taking place 